Good morning, Steve Park, and good morning, universe. This is Rachel's Ghost of the Rachel's Ghost TV show. Don't be fooled by uh, cheap imitations. Uh, this is the uh, one and only Rachel's Ghost show, broadcasting daily uh, from Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. We're called the Hub City. This is a record show. We talk about music. Today on the go, we've got the Beatles. Uh, this is a rare case where the reissue may be the one you want to get. Don't go out there and get the one hot off the press. Sometimes uh, a reissue is going to address something that may have been overlooked or uh, an, an inferior product in the first going. So how is that going to shake down? How is that all going to work out? Well, we're going to get to that very shortly. Uh, Brad Teal, Rachel, I'm traumatized. I am back. I'm here to cosset you, to support you, to embrace you in my loving arms. Folks, being brought to you today by the incredible seven horse, Joey Kellio, uh, Phil uh, Levitt, uh, two guys uh, out of California. And uh, Joey, I, I'm proud to call a friend. A super good guy. We, we, I'm just surrounded by so much talent. So much talent. Uh, Wolfie Baby's in from New York, 602, 603 now. Uh, hello, so happy you're here, says Yvonne. Uh, Bish is in the house representing Essex, the great county of Essex, England. And uh, Plastic Soundwave Cult, that's our good friend Eric and Juve, coming in from Denver. Colorado. Wow. So you're on a, a, a tour. You're on a road tour. Are you at UV? You have talent too, Rach. Well, thank you, Brad. <laughs> hey, I did some shopping yesterday. I I, uh, I spent a little coin. Art, welcome to the show. Morning, Rach. You have a nice day. Thank you, Art. Bless you so much. Thank you for that. Folks, I'm excited to get more records in the collection. My record count is like uh, 1,200 and change now. Very happy about that. The collection uh, continues to grow. So much to do. So many shout outs. I've got some really good news here. I got so much tech yesterday morning, Rage. You won't believe it. Uh, uh, it's a work trip and it's freaking cold. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Denver can be cold. Higher elevation, snow. Brr. I love America. It's just so cold there. Y'all live in igloos? <laughs> All right. Uh, three albums picked up. Uh, but, I, oh, big news, channel news. Uh, I am in early negotiations with, uh, I'm this one I'm very excited about. Uh, Chromium Dioxide, uh, the BBQ-tioner, BBQ-tioner, Phil, uh, from Canada, of all places, is going to join me at some future date. We're in the early workings to, to get everything going. But in principle, he says, Rach, I'm all in. Let's do it. And uh, so I'm excited about that. So, uh, and of course, BBQ, sadly, tragically, inadvertently, unplanned, serendipitously, summarily executed here on this program by one prog cat. Prog cat got too enthusiastic, timed him out. I thought I'd lost him forever. But I'm very, very relieved and happy to tell you uh, chromium dioxide and myself are going to get together. BBQ Schinner, fantastic with his cat. He's got a cast of supporting characters. It reminds me very much of Bobby Van, Billy Van, not Bobby, Billy Vans, uh, the hilarious House of Frankenstein with a series of Muppets and Puppets and characters and booze. Prague Hat is famous. Absolutely. Welcome back. Thank you, Mark. Bless you. Who's cooking BBQ? BBQ going to cook himself. It was a strange day yesterday in Macabre. Surreal experience. For how long? Spot for how long? Anyway, uh, so let's show uh, so some records. And I'll get into this uh, Beatles thing. There's a lot happening, by the way. Uh, Pellet Cart, New York. Cutting the penalty of one Donald John Trump. My guy. MAGA. Rachel's ghost is MAGA. I'm sorry. I know it's, it's hurting you. I know you're feeling pain, even as I said. But uh, yeah, I mean the uh, the uh, the obscene amount of money that this uh, out of control lawfare—they call it lawfare—idiot. We're going is Erdogan goofball, corrupt as hell. Letitia James, corrupt as hell, going after my guy, going after Donald J. and. 
they've cut in a half feet and they go, how are you going to pay it? He goes with cash. All right. And adding to the trouble of the, <laughs> adding to the liberals trouble, meltdowns and suing. Trump is now worth $6 billion. He's uh, one of the, he's uh, hit the Forbes top 500 richest people in the world. Congratulations, Donald John Trump. I love you. It was an accident. I don't know half these people. I'm sorry. Are you going to crucify me? For the love of God, Easter's coming up. I'm sorry, Brogat. It's fine. No one's bad at you. I'm just, I just, you know, uh, chromium dioxide is a, a kind of a big guy. We want to make him bigger. Like, I want to help him. I want you, Brogat. Frog hat Tommy going to bang your gong. I want you to get over there, Chroma the Dioxide channel, and sub him up and support him and say, Rachel sent you. Anyway, I apologize to him. It's not your fault, Edward. These things happen. And he was very magnanimous. He said, don't worry. He, uh, Edward was just doing his job. Now, I didn't name you by name, Edward. I wouldn't do that. I just said, one, you know, one of my overzealous peanuts, you know, took you out. Uh, Prog hat is merciless. Run, everybody. Uh, Proghead has the Bill K. Trigger finger. <laughs> Woo! Sava Dimitrov. I love Sava. So anyway, um, so yeah, good news on that front. Uh, I guess uh, coming up, what, today, tomorrow soon, uh, the uh, the IPO is going ahead for True Social. Uh, and uh, so everything's going on. There it is. Uh, chromium Dioxide Radio. <laughs> we love Edward. And Edward, you know you're welcome up here anytime you want. It's a big open door for you, right? You just go, Rich, get me up here. I go, hang on, Edward, I'll get you. Uh, yes, uh, if you make any money, hey, the, the Republicans are just as bad. Don't now stop it, Steve. Those guys, that Liz Cheney, I think she's endorsing a number of Democrat <laughs> Democrats in the upcoming election. I was just absolutely insane out there. Uh, it's going to be a very good investment because, you know, there's millions of us Trumpy bears that are going to go out there and support it and buy stock in it. I've already in told my guy, my broker, Bill, Bill, uh, Bill Bissenden, and I've got Bill on the case and uh, we're, we're, we're investing significantly. Oh, it's all. We're getting Bill to to invest in there. Talk about a Ponzi scheme. Listen, easy now. Boy, oh boy. Uh, okay, yes, okay. Uh, Rach, I'm boycotting you uh, in an act of petty revenge for what you did to yesterday, which we all agree was a monster dereliction, doing leaving money. <laughs> Maybe the, the fallout. Remember the Ruddles, the Ruddles movie where the, the Ruddles, are, the lawyers are all fighting over the Ruddles thing? It's not happening. These are good boys. Oh, there's been a little petty pilfering here and there. Nothing serious. Uh, these are good lads. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, a few things have gone missing, missing, admittedly. And of course, you know, stuff's being hauled out and ripped off out of the building. Just crazy. Lawyers are stumbling out of the building, devastated. Uh, the wax segment of yesterday's stream was particularly distressing. I'm so sorry. Uh, the man from Omaha, it's not as bad as Roja, but I hear almost daily I'm still in the mind of his uh, live streams. It's crazy. Chance, we love you. The rumors of my death are highly exaggerated at this point. I'm very elderly. I could go at any moment. But uh, that's the, it's all good, man. So, um, yeah, Liz is a Democrat. But that's true. Now, that's true. Holy smokes. These uh, rhinos, we call them. Anyway, oh. Uh, by the way, there's so much happening. So chromium dioxide radio, and here's a link to uh, to Phil's show. This is the barbecue, the BBQ executioner. Uh, Prague had some mean mofo. He once stole a dozen donuts, a bottle of Bud Light from a neighbor of mine. Holy smokes. Only in the life of ellipsi, ellipsi. Uh, Prague hat will not be ignored. True. Very, very, very true. Uh, anyway, here's a link to Phil's channel. Please subscribe. Tell him uh, Rachel's ghost sent you. David, safe and sound is so good. I heard I bet he's Rachel in a song. And it's all this. Welcome back to the show that never ends. It seems that way, Tony. Yesterday I got some. Have you, anybody ever received some disturbing 
Uh, I got to give Wax credit for mending fences and supporting public dumb on his. Okay, well, don't call him that. He's just a young kid out there doing his thing. I'm glad that Wax uh, supported him. That's great. Now, I got a brand new film. This is Shrink Wrap. This is unbelievable, this movie. I've received some very macabre uh, VCLT before, but nothing like this. Vinyl Community Love Train. Let's, let's get that together. VCLT, Vinyl Community Love Train. Uh, Judy Garland, Gay Paris. And if anybody can identify this character, holy smokes, go to the head of class. Judy Garland, featuring the voice talents of Judy Garland. This was gifted to me. Thank God. Uh, one of the, I think it was Wolfie, one of you kids sent me a thing on DVD rot. Warner Brothers in particular, DVDs. This is a DVD. A lot of their DVDs suffering rot. But one of the ones that doesn't is the archive collection, the Warner Brothers archives. These are a, a notch above. These are well-crafted. These will last a lifetime. Uh, there it is with the skew and all that on it. It's a Meowvelous animated treasure that's in fabulously fine voice. Uh, written by Dorothy, uh, you know, Dorothy and Chuck Jones. Gay Puri boasts eight original tunes by the Wizard of Oz Oscar winners. Harold Arlen and E.Y. Harbord. Take My Hand, Paris, Musette sings in one of the film's happiest moments. So Musette, Gay Paris, absolutely amazing. So thank you, the artist formerly known as Begira, for that, uh, what looks to be an absolute amazing show. Uh, <laughs> holy smokes. Uh, I stand by my moniker, Pat's Radio. Absolutely. It's a great moniker. We love you. Uh, this is all Rachel's fault. Well, that's sad. Do you have some of the TVs that gone bad? No, none. None whatsoever. I'm very fortunate, Wolfie, that I've been able to avoid that. I have a lot of Blu-rays, and a lot of my old DVDs I swapped out and upgraded to Blu-ray. Uh, and I've got a number of... Um, I've got a number of... Uh, me, I'm love. I love you, Trish. And I have a lot of, uh, of 4K. I'm starting to get 4K. I don't have a lot. I'm selective, but I've got a number of 4K. But it was just the DVDs from, from uh, Warner Brothers collection, some of their cartoon stuff on DVD. But even those, a lot of those I've gone for Blu-ray on. And these are the early ones from around 2009, 2010, in that period of time. Later... Uh, Warner Brothers got on it and addressed some of the problems. Let's get into this Beatles situation. Yesterday, I hit uh, Ditch Records in uh, beautiful downtown Victoria, British Columbia. And I picked up not one, but two uh, kind of Beatle must-haves for Beatle people. One or two must-haves for Beatle pe people. Uh, okay. Uh, show, 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 show. Um, reading emails, reading emails. They're good. I get, e I get emails. I want to get a big shout out to Joe. <laughs> uh, Joe, my artist pal, is uh, is fantastic. A great guy. Huge support for the channel. Just love him. Uh, rumor has it, don't be fooled by cheap imitations, DJ Trish. There's only one real deal, and you're here experiencing it now. Wait, 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 wait. You said it's gay. We're not saying that. No one's saying that. And even if she is, there's nothing wrong with that. Beatles. Okay. This is a Capital Albums Volume 1. Now, they did a really fancy schmancy. They did a fancy schmancy on this that came out in a beautiful Beatles with the American flag in a little box, little chunky box. I never bought that. And the reason I never bought it, because it's basically the 209 Beatles box set all in one uh, one happy bundle I'll, I'll go get it Beatles US Capitol US Capitol albums okay so remember folks that the UK and the the North American market had a different look for everything and uh, so here's the okay that's not the image I want because it's not quite done properly 
I want to get you a good image that really tell the story. This is what this is the one I want. Okay. A few years ago, they, they came up with these around 2004, 2006. He was in your house. Everybody's got two of them. Jesus. I bet. Should I get the fumigator? All right. Uh, let's do, uh, let's share the screen. I want to show you what they came out. This is what I'm holding in my hands, the original. This is how it came. Long box. Uh, but uh, there was a problem, and they came out with this later. Now, this thing here, avoid this. Let's go, uh, let's get the big picture of it. Make it big, as big as I can make it. There it is. Uh, so you see, you know, it's a little blurry and everything on this side. But it's a box with all the capital U.S. albums, right? But, you know, folks, that box there, I wonder if I can do this where it says use this one instead. View this tab in StreamYard. Ankle. Boy, you know, you got, they can put a mam on the moon. Okay, this is what, share this tab instead. That's what I want. Okay, so you got this big box, okay? This one, the one you're seeing now on your screens, that is simply the 2009, uh, you know, CD box set of the Beatles in stereo, just repackaged and reordered in the uh, way it was with the American albums. In other words, if you got the 2009 Beatles, you don't need that, okay? You don't need this thing here. Looks great, I should add. It looks absolutely incredible. But uh, what, more Beatles crap? I'm sorry, I'm a collector. I'm a Beatle maniac. You know that it's part of the, the real deal, man. We're Beatle people here. The Capitol Albums Volume 1 Long Box includes four albums. Look at, there's your four albums. Meet the Beatles, the Beatles' second album, something new. I've got all of these on vinyl, of course, Beatles 65. And in many cases, I got the multiples. But the trick here is these are from the original U.S. Masters, and they include both stereo and mono cut. So you get the whole album in stereo, and then they repeat the album on each disc. Now, the packaging's a little sus. You know, because it just that tends to fall out at the ends as it goes like that. Folds nicely like so. And you get the four albums, and then you get a book, a book that comes with it. Ankle. There. Okay, everything's out of there. So there's your your inners. And uh, I'll just show you. It's a lovely set. Okay. Here's how America, you know. And the Beatles capital passed on the Beatles. And uh, VJ Records got a hold of them. Swan got uh, access to some of the uh, the Beatles' first album, Please Please Me. But here it is, Meet the Beatles, right? I'm sorry about the glare. There it is, Meet the Beatles. Uh, the first album by English, phenomenal pop combo, Meet the Beatles. Uh, and then it's got the Beatles' second album. This is the second one. The Beatles' second album. Over in Canada, we have the same cover, but it was uh, treated as the Beatles' third album as Long Tall Sally. Long Tall Sally. I've got this on final. I got this on final. But keep in mind, each of these has the albums in stereo and mono, so it's a good deal. Uh, next came. Now, here's where it gets interesting as well, because Hard Day's Night, you know, a third album's a movie called Odd Day's Night. They didn't know how long the Beatles were going to last. You know, you could be big-headed and say you're going to last 10 years. They didn't know how long they were going to last. They came out with a movie, Hard Day's Night. This one's in black and white. 10 left of Greenland. And uh, it went, it was great. So they wanted to get in, Capital, the people, the Beatles management. Everybody wanted to get in very quick because you don't know how long you're going to last, right? Hit, strike the iron while the kettle's hot, something like that. Anyway, they want to get off the ground. They did it. They made the movie, but the rights went to United Artists in the contracts with Capital and the Beatles. Capital never thought we've got a phenomena on our hands, even though we told them it's a phenomenon. <laughs> it's a phenomenal. They're a phenomena. So they had no clue. So they didn't sign any rights for movies. So a Hard Day's Night album came out in America and it went to United Artists. You know, the movie makers. <clears throat> so, Capital realizing, holy shit, <laughs> we gave the rights to Hard Day's Night, but their contract did allow them to keep some of the music. 
So anytime at all, slow down Matchbox. Come give me in thine hand. Things we said today. I'll cry to say, and I love her. Tell me why. Some of the songs that appeared in the film, this came out. I love this cover, the Ed Sullivan show there, the black. Unbelievable. They look so good, though. My favorite band. Again, stereo mono. And then finally, Beatles 65 comes out. Okay. This album never appeared in England. This album never appeared in England. This album never appeared in England. Are you getting uh, seeing the pattern? Uh, the Beatles second never appeared in England. These are exclusive England. Each box, okay, comes with a beautiful little booklet, tells the Beatles story. So it's really nice to get because these are the original mono from the master tape. So they're really nicely done. Okay. Look at this beetle goodness, right? You love the fabs. I love the fabs. Look at that shot. Hello, Ringo. Got me full attention. There they are. Anyway, it's just fantastic. So it cost me a pretty penny, you know, and they're out of print. You can't get these ones anymore. So you got to hunt them down, right? You got to hunt them down. Don't worry, I got some good stuff going, uh, gents. I got I got Zeppelin coming up for you in just a sec. I picked up more Zepp. So just hang on to your crumpets. Because I got something to tell you about these box sets, okay? So, and I say box sets plural because, you know, I got another one. And uh, we'll talk about that too. All right, let's, uh, let's try and get this all back packaged together in some semblance of order as best as I am able to uh, to muster with my limited resources. All right, so you get the box, goes like this, goes like this, right? Got yellow here and you got purple there. And uh, I'm thrilled though, man. I, I wanted these for a long time. I wanted to get it. And uh, so into the... Uh, Back into the box it goes. I've got the purple like that. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to open this one. You see how they work. This is an identical package. This is volume two. But the Beatles Capital Albums, volume two, again, the same thing. From the original, these aren't the 2009. This came out in 2006. Okay, and it's got the early Beatles. I love this cover. This was on the back of Beatles for Sale, that photo. Beautiful picture. Hyde Park in uh, London there. Beatles 6, help, 1965, Rubber Soul. But here's where things get interesting. This, my friends, is a first release on this, okay? We could say first press, but it's a CD, four CDs, same idea, stereo, mono. But here's the trick. The first ones that came out before April 11th, 2006, before 2006, are fold down. They're fold down stereo. How do we know? How do we know? There's so much minute and details about Beatle collectibles and the Beatles catalog. Somebody screwed up with the master tapes and they sent them the stereo and they folded down the stereo. stereo. How do we know it's stereo? Uh, well, I went on Discogs and, and uh, as I'm adding them into my dismay i learned a little uh, i learned a thing or two and uh so i'm going to bring up the uh the article i read and i'll, I'll just read this out as i hold this up uh choo -choo. okay uh the first pressings of beetle six and rubber soul only okay so the albums beetle six and rubber soul on here so these two here okay now the rest are okay but beetle six and rubber soul have incorrect mono versions the mono tracks on those are actually stereo tracks mixed down to mono. How do we know it? It goes, uh, a number of box sets sampler discs made available prior to April 11th release date, result of an earlier UK release date, as well as pre-orders, have the incorrect monoral mono mixes of six uh, Beatles 6 and Rubber Soul. While the original mono mix were intended, these sets of only mono fold downs. Okay. So how do you tell? How do you tell? And it's really interesting. It goes, uh, it goes, uh, the fake mono versions are easy to spot. If the mono and so, track number 21 on Rubber Soul, the song's called I'm Looking Through You. Fantastic song. Paul McCartney talking about uh, uh, Jane Asher. You know, I'm looking through you kind of thing. 
Anyway, it's not a correct mono version. The false start on I'm looking through you is exclusive to the Capital Stereo Master. The original mono version, Norwegian Wood, contains a cough between the lines. She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. <coughs> uh, so I looked around and noticed there wasn't a chair at the 38 mark in that. Uh, that song track number 14, I believe, on here. So really interesting. So this is an early issue. If you go for this, make sure you've got what's called the SK-1. And the packaging on it actually had a sticker uh, signifying SK-1. So a rare case where you've got the... Um, uh, a rare case where the reissue is actually the one to get. You don't want to get the original. But there's still added value because these early issues of it, and this is only in volume two, there's two of them, volume one and volume two. Volume one, no problem. Volume two, half a problem. Beatles six and Rubber Soul Fold Downs. Help is okay. It's the original mastered mono. Original U.S. mastered mono, by the way, okay? Uh, there's no volume three, Matthew Petty. Relax. You guys want to change your pace? <clears throat> well, let's talk Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine is one of the least favorite albums for people. Yellow Submarine. But it's pretty popular. There they are. John Paul, George, and Jimmy. <coughs> this, excuse me, is a bootleg I've been wanting for some time. It's in Stadio. And it's on exclusive limited edition colored vinyl. Comes in a lovely piss yellow. Led Zeppelin, Yellow Submarine. So what is this? This is January 5th, 1969, Whiskey A Go-Go LA concert, California, USA, okay? Zeppelin is recorded. This is one I've wanted a long time, obviously for the, uh, for the you know, the Beatle uh, Yellow Submarine rep by Led Zeppelin. This is a bootleg, okay? This is a bootleg. And uh, it's one I've wanted for some time. Zep Pearl, big shout out to my friend Zep Pearl. So I picked that up. Another one I picked up, and I'm, I don't, I only have two more, so don't labor it too much. Don't freak out. I picked up this Love and Rockets reissue, Earth, Sun, and Moon. The, this is their third album. Daniel Ash and David J. Late of Bauhaus. Bella Lugosi's dead. Love and Rockets a reissue. Okay, I've got two of their albums. Oh, geez, I got first pressings on two. I have not been able to get this. I have not been able to get this thing. And so I weakened and I went for a reissue. Once I spin it, I'll give you kids a uh, a chance to, uh, you know, I'll give you my thoughts about it and how, if they accomplished a, a good deal with it. it. I mean, in 2024, it was 34. I paid 34 bucks for it, right, before tax. And we're really taxed here in Canada. There's a lot of tax, but really happy to have that. And then this next one is kind of a, a nice deal. Uh, Temp by Rachel Rebrand is, no, uh, don't you know those guys? Love and Rockets are great. And they, they had kind of mainstream. They had a lot of play on, uh, yeah, their drama Kevin was also in Love, was also in Bauhaus. Yeah, basically everybody but uh, Peter Weir, whatever his name was. Uh, this is a great, I'm so glad on the Liberty label, the old Liberty, give me life or give me death, you know, give me Liberty. Uh, here you go. It's Johnny Burnett. This guy's a legend. He, he, he was the first guy with the big hit train, kept it rolling. Aerosmith covered it. The who covered it. Everybody covered it. Uh, train kept it rolling. It's a massive, uh, kind of blues rip. Johnny Burnett's hits and other favorites. Walk them by dreaming. That song is one of my desert. I just love that song. Dreaming, I'm always dreaming, hoping that my dreams will come true. Up, 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 up. You know, it's like that, right? Dreaming, I'm always. And he was incredible. And then, of course, he gained in 1974, 73, 74, he came back with some uh, renewed fame because of your 16. You're beautiful and you're mine. And if you think Ringo Starr covered that, you'd be absolutely right. And I've got a, a 45 right there with Ringo on it. 
doing your 16 uh, and uh, Johnny Burnett sadly passing away in 1964. He was out on his boat unlit on the water out there on a lake somewhere in California. And some guy in a boat went rocking by and hit him. Uh, your Beatles fan is ready when you're, yeah, Maz, let's talk about this uh, box set and see if you got the right one. Did you get the SK one or the bullshit one? Let me know. Anyway, I do recommend this. Don't get the big blue box. I mean, you can get it if you want. Uh, I, this is how I'd go. This is the direction I'd go. Beatles 1 and 2, Capital Albums. Nice to have. And you get both the stereo. And a lot of these were reissued as solo albums, so you can get them that way as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, is my... Uh, All right. All right. Here we go. Let's talk about this. Um, okay. Yeah. And you got the square box too, which is their short box for packaging. Well, yeah. One's yeah. the correct, one's the wrong. First of all, yeah. capital, the worst fucking packaging in the world. The worst packaging. It's the a worst. big question. About, what a thumbnail. The worst. The Smile. worst. And, but then they do a little better because they just make it small and they make it yeah. like this and it folds yeah. out but it's still like I, what are you fucking it's awkward talking? it's awkward it's it's fucking yeah. it's like it looks like a blind person designed this I'm yeah sorry. it's not great no. i hope tom or sean's watching yeah oh well he did he wasn't a capital then i don't think yeah he was at warner brothers he would have put a stop he might have been it. well we'll see we'll, we'll find uh -oh. out i hope tom well, did do it. i until you brought that up i totally forgot about the debacle here but you know yeah. what's even shittier yeah. After volume two, they stopped. They didn't finish. They didn't they do volume They did not two. finish. There's only two volumes in this, kids. Now, I do have this. This is excellent packaging, but you're yeah. right. It's the wrong mixes. Yeah. They basically, you know, do, they do a wonderful package, and they do yeah. it like the Japanese and little sleeves and everything. Beautiful yeah. package. Wrong fucking mixes. Like... All right. So now, what Maz just got there, the reason I went over all right. is that what you're showing there is this. Yeah, they're the, is this just repackaged and Americanized? This is a Beatles. Now, the nice thing is you do get you do get the great superior rubber sole uh, track order, but yeah. still, but still. But then the Japanese actually do something a little clever. They do these. Look at this. They do this. Oh, I do like that. Those are the one. Those I are mean, a beautiful series. What's yeah. nice about this too? I think this is the one with the. They give you the original inner sleeve. That well, they give you the original, the other cover too. So yes, correct. I think in the store it comes out with this on the front, and then you just yeah, and then you can, absolutely right, and it's and actually got a sticker on the back that you can actually apply over it if you want to, so you can emulate you can a first state it. or a second state. And they did, they even did this one in Japan. Yeah, the VJ. This is a I mean, classic. And feature. then J J the J the Japan box of CDs. Yeah, yeah. So get this on your Christmas list too. Um, yeah, this this has some of these you know Christmas. Uh, yeah. I mean, not Christmas. I got a Japanese one, and it's uh, actually what's interesting about that. Ugh. So what the what the fuck? What a great design. Wrong mixes. Yeah. Now this was terrible design. Thing. Correct mixes. This thing is a bootleg. The Beatles collection. This oh, yeah, is yeah, all yeah. the Beatles albums, but it's a bootleg with the little. That emulates album. the uh, MoFi cover. If you get, ever give me anything, anybody, make sure that you uh, you put a note with it so I know who gave it to me. Uh, Joe, the music on as soon as the table bought bootleg. Uh, hearing how much a Beatles fan would like you to have one. And that's the yeah. first. Now, note. did you ever vote for each song? Your the Beatles versus the and four came, seasons. Oh, now I'm sorry, Massey. I was reading that. Go ahead. Now, what's you going vote on? for your favorites? Like you can vote on the back of this yes. album, yeah, and you can compare. Do you vote for a one to hold your hand or a, a sorry standing there mm -hmm. or Sherry, Misery yes. or I Cried, uh, Anna or Marlena, yeah. Chains or Soon? And it goes on. You can yeah. basically vote between. Yeah. I wonder how many uh young people when they got this actually. I wonder if. The four Sorry, seasons. I should make won. Big for this, so they can the four it. seasons actually won. The if they were a winner ever, yeah. I kind of doubt that. I maybe. doubt it. Okay, now I'm at sixty-four. Okay, here we go. This question for you. I could tell it. I I, I dug it. Where does it say SK one on volume? I don't two? even remember to be honest. Okay, with you. here's the answer to that. What they did is they affixed a sticker on the back of them, oh. 
And on the back of the album, it's got the SK-1 sticker. I think I can demonstrate it. Uh, somebody took the time. On the corrected one? On, so I, don't, I don't remember. I didn't remember. I don't remember. So, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to do, uh, let's go see all versions of this. There's not This many. is why CDs are fucked up. They're so fucking small, you can't read this shit. Yeah, now, so what happened, it was on the back of it, there was a sticker as, as fixed to it. Yeah, I don't And know. Uh, because of that copy, I just well, got to find this thing. At the time, I remember, because I bought the, I bought one of them because of that quirk. But I, you know, it helped. this has been 20 years, right? Yeah, it's over, yeah, 20 years, it's 20 years, yeah. Yeah, so I mean. Uh, 2006 for the second one. 2006, 18 years, yeah. Yeah. But uh, there's a white sticker on the back. I'm just looking. I think what happened at that point, they were going to do a third volume. And then Apple came in, rightly so, because Apple controls. Capital did this sort of on their own. Uh, yeah. The supplies, they actually were able to do it. And Capital was getting ready to do the remasters, right? So they didn't want to confuse things because uh, three years later, 2009 is when the, uh, yeah. the first remasters. So that's, they kind of stopped. So you get, you get two and they fuck. And then, but this is the biggest debacle, I think, you know, yeah. I mean, put the, I know people don't like those reverb mix, but if you're going to do capital, make them sound like the capital, right? Yeah. Well, and right? That's why, and this is why you want to get these. Uh, if you can get them, get them because they are the U S mixes. So, and I, and I got another bone to pick uh, my, yeah. my, Instagram inboxes and my Texas was blown up yesterday. I didn't yeah. see it. I kind what of happened? turned it on that uh, the, the the Rachel's Ghost Imposter Morning did a uh oh a parody mall oh, no? video as me, but yes. it wasn't funny apparently. I haven't seen it yet. So. Okay. Anybody see the parody mall video? Of He's Madison? walking around talking about me as if I'm going there like seeking out young girls at the mall. Yeah. Uh, but he he actually quotes me apparently he i heard he quotes me yeah saying my um suggestions to william about if you want to do it do what you do right you know my yeah. my, my suggestions so if you did that that's good so i haven't seen it so i'm sure is this, somebody's here like, it. is this a bit like you own because of the beatles kind you of do thing? not have that and i would grab that if i saw it it's kind kind of fun because of the send up if you want it when you leave here just leave it in the guest room as you leave and uh well maybe i will no, Maybe not. I will. Uh, Rachel does not seem interested. Why would I? Why would I? You know, it's like uh, Senate Life, the great president, John Day Trump, and fantastic with the appellate court in New York. God bless the appellate court in New York, the great state, the free state, New York, the Big Apple itself. Holy smokes. You, you know, if you were interesting court. about that, Rachel. If you and I get a ticket or we get a, a warrant and we let's say we get a ticket. I for just $200, want two tickets to we, we have to usually we have to put up our our bond. Yes. At 100 percent. The little guys have to do our bond. Well, no, 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 no. It, what's happened is the ruling. They're finding that it was exorbitant. As a, this no, they're not. Amendment. We're yeah. fighting it on the Eighth Amendment. It's an appeal, Massey. We're I know. It, the, the, the it, was, way, it was the largest sum ever asked of an I understand that. In the history of humanity. But, now, it's horrible. He it's appealed, a church of justice. You are right. He appealed it, and we'll see what happens. If the appeal yeah. is denied, he'll have to pay the whole half billion dollars. We and got trouble. trouble. Yeah. And sorry. you talked about him having, yeah, that's really horrible there. Yeah. Boy, did you see that? Oh my God. I've seen it. It was gifted or not gifted, but sent to me in the Fuck Instagram. Fuck Joe Biden. He had some drunk ship buyer on that cargo ship. Couldn't see a pylon. What the hell? It's morning. horrible. Like, I mean, it's no, just. It, it is. It's like. It's it, inexcusable, really. I mean, how the hell can the you. The only good thing about it, if there is any good thing. No, there's nothing good. But it happened at night. And so far, only seven people are uh, missing. So, oh, God. You know, yeah, if it was during, can you imagine minutes. during rush hour during the day? 30,000 yeah, cars on that bridge every day. Yeah. Oh. That's going to take uh, half a decade to rebuild, if that. Yeah. Anyway, Mazzy, you're fantastic. I, now, you aren't really bothered uh, too much by this uh, impersonation thing of you at the mall or whatever. The I haven't hell. seen it. I don't care if people, you know, I, if it was funny, like you did one, you did a, a, a 
a take on yes. that mall thing. It, it yes. was it was almost funny, but it was it was funny. People, no, I, haven't, I, ha I will admit, I I shouldn't judge because I haven't seen it. But yeah. that's the word of the buzz. So I have not no, seen it. People are my my uh, my mall video was hilarious. And people who were peeing themselves, they go, Jesus, Rachel, I'm just howling. And then they one even went better than Mazzy, better than Mazzy. This okay, is that could be. Uh, I, um, I actually I turned it on in the morning. I heard about five minutes of him. His, impre his voice was, was grating on me, so I had to turn yeah. it off so I didn't hear it. But yeah. I, when I first saw the thumbnail with the wig and all that, I thought, okay, this could be funny. Yeah. But the voice just, you know. that's uh, Barry, we love you. Good to see you. So every, you know, it's good, man. I just don't, you know, it's kind of like, so what I'm trying to say in the whole thing, and, you know, certain people reached out and talked and, and did different things. That's a good album to get. I have that this as is, well. Capital should have put this out on the 50th anniversary. Yeah. I know it's considered point. bad taste, but come on at this point. No, no, no. It's Beatle people. We're different. We got a special. This should, this should be a record store yeah. day issue, right? Wouldn't that be great? Uh. Anyway, I love you. This is a very important thing, Brad. Brad Teal. All of Williams impersonation is done out of spite. I'm going to tell you something. The, the legend that was Norm McDonald talked about uh, Donald Trump impersonations. Go, hey, boom, Don, Norm. Boom, boom, uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, that was a request. That was my beginning of the request. Okay, that's we have to give you that. So Chauncey Norm, asked if I can sing We All Stand Together. Okay, we're just gonna just a sec. That's your frog song, right? I'm trying to give a make a point here for you. Kid. <laughs> My point is that the great Norm Macdonald legend said you, they were they asked him. I said, "Do you like the uh, Donald Trump impersonation on Saturday Night Live?" He says, "No, I don't like them." And he's no Trumpy bearer or anything. Norm Macdonald. All he said was. When you do an impersonation, you got to like the person. If they don't like the person, and if you don't like the person, then you're you're screwing up. Like, it's not going to be funny. You have to have some genuine affection. That's what makes it work. My mall video works because I love Massey. I'm a genuine fan of the man. And so, and this, oh, it's, it's fun. And it's goofy because I'm goofy and I'm running around going, let's go to the food court. Come on, everybody. You know, it's just so retarded. And I, the way I off, I go. Yeah, no, um, I, I, and it was short. You know? okay. It was short. Now, Zeb's got some insight on this. He goes, the ship lost power twice. So it maybe it lost its ability to steerage broke or something. Well, well. And uh, so it was a technical problem, not a human mistake kind of thing well of course they're gonna find out nobody on the ship was killed or hurt um so we'll see i mean it's it's just it's horrible oh. okay and hi david welcome to the show uh hmm. and uh Piper's live chat was a real rogue scholar i'm sure it was so when you do an impersonation vinyl committee make sure that you uh if you're doing something have a genuine affection for whoever you're taking on and it makes for a uh, a better takeoff uh, uh, you know, better riff on whoever you're impersonating. Uh, you can see the footage of the uh, ship and the bridge and everything. I saw it. Uh, there. So there's a link from uh, Zap. Zap. I saw uh, it on I, one of my liberal uh, stations this morning. So Yeah, and I saw it through uh, Instagram. Uh, I was alerted that way. Uh, Led Zeppelin, Yellow Zeppelin. This is one I've wanted for quite a while, but, you know, for obvious reasons, uh, being a, such a Beatle fan. But listen, folks, Led Zeppelin, number three for me in my hit parade of favorite bands. It's the Beatles, number one, then Yes, and then Led Zeppelin. And I, I've got a pretty good Led Zeppelin collection. I don't have the greatest or anything, but it's growing. And, uh, you know, I've got three, four OGs of like, and Led Zeppelin too, but the you know what's you know what's really sad yeah. is Led. I love Led Zeppelin. I like Led Zeppelin. I shouldn't say love. I like them a lot. A lot. What? They're not in my they're top ten. They're they not might. in my. They're not in my top ten bands. What? Like, they're not. But, but what's the sad part is the Beatles are number one. I I saw the Beatles zero. I saw Led Zeppelin three times. Yeah. How wow. fucked up is that? I mean, it's yeah, great but how, good were they? how good were they when they you're were, watching them live? They were great. I saw the Keys are show in 73 that apparently uh, Vinyl Richie and I both were at. Yeah. And um, Zepp actually sent me a, a audio clip or a thing of that uh, recently of that show. 
And then I saw them two days in a row at the Day on the Green, which was the last two American shows ever. Yeah. And then uh, I think they that's when the big uh, fight happened between their manager and the Bill Graham people. Yes. At, um, at Oakland Coliseum. And then uh, Robert Plant's son died and they left. They they quit the tour. Yeah. 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 OK, so they were you. great. They were great. I'm not. Oh, they're a great band. I mean, how, I'm not I don't, I've never dissed them or anything. I, they're just not in my top 10. That's all. Um, of the three times you saw him, which was the best concert? Do you recall? I think I liked uh, the two, the last two, only because uh, my girlfriend worked at a radio station, and there's a side stage, not where yeah. the band people are, but it's a, it's like a radio record VIP thing right on the side, so you could look right at the side of them, and yeah. it was cool being that close, and you didn't have to be. You know, crunched up with a million people. Oh, speaking of crunched up, you're going to be crunched up because the uh, peanut gallery is absolutely appalled at what is if Led Zeppelin's not in your top ten. We now are curious who is supplanting. Well, me, that's, a, that is a good question. That's, that's a good question. I'm I not going to put them in order. Queen. I won't put them in order, but obviously we got the Beatles, Kings, and the Birds. Kings, Birds, those top three. Those are Mazzies. We three. got the band. We got the Rolling Stones. We got the Who. Um, we got XTC, and these aren't in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have um, um, Little Feet. Little Feet? Oh, my God. Um, we got uh, Jefferson Airplane, and we got The Grateful Dead. Okay, so, so no Floyd? You know, I might take, I'll take out Little Feet and put Floyd in there instead. Well, yeah. I mean, Little Fleet yeah. over Floyd? I mean, yeah, I, you're I, right, you're right. But I, I'm, and I'm sure I'm missing some off the top. That's off the top of my yeah. head. Little Feet is one of my favorite bands. Probably not my top 10. But yeah, Pink Floyd, I like more than... Yeah, Floyd is... I mean, God, I mean, they yeah, are... This Floyd Jones are top 10 for me. Led let Zeppelin would be in my top 15, probably. Maybe. Bill, welcome to the show. Uh, you the know. Jayhawks. Um, Creedence Clearwater. Big salute. Say thank you, Bill. Creedence, Just don't say thank CCR. You, Bill. He, um, I don't know. Don't mention it. Just don't thank you. Okay, so you're doing good, but it's just I was shocked. Tony Orlando and Don, with her, hold on. Well, that would be a solo if it was solo Tony project. Orlando, it'd be with one or without Don. I'm trying to think of bands. Well, we could do so. I do what Massey's doing. Notice he named all bands. If you wanted to do X, solo performance, X is one of my favorite bands. The, oh, I, the Clash, the Clash. How could I miss Clash? The Clash. The clash. Yeah, I like the Clash more than Led Zeppelin. Okay, okay, all right. Ry Cooter's uh, not a band. Wow. There are 10 Manchester the Smiths. The Smiths. The Smiths. The Smiths. The Smiths. Holy See, shit. I have, I have more than 10 top oh, 10 oh, bands. Yeah. Well, no, hold on. Now, this comes down into solo performances. Oh, uh, you and I agree. Dylan's number one. We had uh, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. There's some sad news while I was away. My uh, best friend, uh, I have two. I got, I got two of them. Uh, my buddy Rudy and my buddy Rick. And I've known these guys since I was 13 years old. I'm 66 now. So by gum, I've known these guys a long time. Going back to 1973, 71. 71 was our year. And uh, Rick's mom had suffered a stroke. So uh, my condolences to my buddy. Uh, you know, and she, so she, her mental capacity, though, is intact. And that's so important, following an incident like that. The second thing, and she's turning 90 soon. His dad just turned 96 years young. So happy, bir happy birthday, Howard. Howard, we love Howie. And then um, the other sad news, a friend of mine whose father died of Alzheimer's. Now, I'm getting up there. I'm 66. My buddy is 65. He'll be turning 66. Later this year, just diagnosed last week with Alzheimer's. So uh, thoughts to my buddy Steve out there. Steve, we love you. And uh, it's just one of the worst things. Like I was watching, uh, God, we watched uh, Bonfire of the Vanities. I was talking with Rob about it, The Wax. And uh, Bruce Willis is in that film. And it's so sad that a, a man as brilliant, as quick-minded, Terry, uh, not Terry Gilliam, but uh, Terry Jones, from Monty Python, the the great Welsh uh, the comedian, and yeah, yeah, these these brilliant people, absolutely mass. These brilliant people that suffer uh, that way. I'll just uh, I'll just take Mass down when it comes back. I'll bring him back up. It's a little easier. So 
yeah, it's just like uh, so sad because, uh, you know, it robs you and uh, and this sort of thing. So uh, hopefully with advances in medicine, uh, good things are coming in the way of uh, finding a cure uh, for some of these debilitating uh, conditions, right? Here's here's Matt's back. We'll get him back up. Was um, sneezing. Okay. Was sneezing. Sorry. Yeah. Did you have a sneeze break? Yeah. yeah. I, I have. I like, the Eagles would never be in my top ten, and I don't. I don't mind the Eagles, but they just wouldn't be a top ten band for me. Eagles are not in my top ten at all. And I, I do like them. But yeah. Not, yeah. At, a, yeah. I, hit, I will say, not my top ten, but maybe my top thirty would be ABBA. Is that considered ABBA. a band? You know. I guess well, they are. Well, yeah, yeah, Just they are. People, they are. Because yeah. you got a keyboard player and you got a, a bass player, a guitar yeah. player. They're, uh, my, they're my top number one Swedish band. Yeah. Uh, Rachel, watching, go, yeah, I'm always watching films, uh, Nick. We're watching a lot of, we watch a lot of noirs. We just revisited the Maltese Falcon. I did say the, the incredible bird. Peter Lorre, of course, Humphrey Bogart. The birds in my top three, I did say the The bird. police in top 20? Probably, yeah. Probably, probably not. Probably I got not, for me, not for me. I mean, I'll pick X over them, and I'll, you know, I'll pick, I'll pick Quicksilver Messenger. I'll pick. Uh, I didn't have the they. They came. They have a one. They're one great album band, right? They have this great, great album. Hunting High and Low is an amazing, great, great album. But longitudinally over the period of their career, probably not better. Bananarama are better than Led Zeppelin. Stop it, Rob Walker. Absolutely disgusting um, comment. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, no, we love, uh, man, uh, Maltese Falcon. I do not own a copy of uh, Treasure Sierra Madre. Again, the Canadian connection into Hollywood is amazing. Uh, Walter oh, Hughes. Walter I forgot Hughes. Procol Harum. They're like it. Oh, Procol Harum. I yeah. pick Procol Harum over Led Zeppelin for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know it shouldn't be a competition, but we all like like lists. Well, we, I mean, yeah, but you go to they asked uh, now. Rick Beato, much beloved figure, Rick Beato just interviewed uh, Steve uh, Steve Wilson. He's the guy that's gone along and uh, put together all these great uh, remixes, Jethro Tall box sets, and he uh, he's done a whole bunch of remastering. Did, did yes, remixing. He remixes. And uh, he's just a, a, a very skilled and talented and interesting guy to be interviewed. And uh, he was just asked, and they said, what albums do you play the most? Which one do you go back to? And he goes, I find myself going back to Omagama, and I find myself going back to uh, the first ambient song uh, from, um, you know, God, now I'm, the name's escaping me. Metal? No, uh, you know who I'm thinking of? The guys that did uh, the Tom uh, Tom Cruise movie. Uh, oh, uh, uh, um, Tangerine Dream. Tangerine Dream. 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 Yeah. He goes back to Tangerine Dream, and he goes back to Z, that album there. So, you know, and he well, loves... I might even like Kraftwerk. I might even like Kraftwerk better than Led Zeppelin. Oh, shit. I just love Zeppelin. It's blues-based rock and roll, and there's so much power in it. It's yeah. like the thrust. I think Led out. Zeppelin might be one of the best cover bands ever. I don't. I don't. I mean, yeah, I know it's tongue in cheek, but uh, yeah, yeah, they got a hit for that. I like Led Zeppelin. Blues, but the the virtuosity of the instrument and the vocals of Robert, those guys are just so so. Yeah, so the good. Beach Beach Boys and rock and Roxy Music are two great bands. I mean, Beach Boys. Beach, Boys, funny, are Beach Boys are one of those bands I always forget about as a band. Yeah, but they made a handful. It's it made some amazing records, and I like their right. records. And I have a lot of their records, but I just never think to throw them in. I love the, re, not the replacements, but I like the replacements. Yeah, no, you you know, the spelling it's They're not in my top twenty, but I like them a lot. I love yeah, the Bee Gees. I love the Bee Gees, man, and I love the Moody Blues. Yes. The Moody Blues, the Hollies. My God, the Hollies. I mean, Television Blondie. You know, there's that whole. The cars, I love the cars, man. Yeah, you know, I the tar, I like the cars, but I get Steve tired King of them. Mark. I get tired of the cars very fast. I don't. Well, that's because they're cars; they go fast. But the point is, is that uh, you know you've got these great, great bands, but some have longer, uh, longer records than others. The Who album after album, the Rolling well, the Who, album to, after album. Me, they're know. genius. But yeah, but see, I like the the uh, uh, 
who's Salad and Tommy better than Quadrophini and who's next? I like their 60s. Yeah, I like Squeeze. I, I like said, XTC. XTC, I absolutely. XTC, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I got a lot of XTC. I got everything pretty much. I mean, the main studio catalog, when I say everything, nobody has everything of everything because there's so many outtakes. And yeah, the Kings that. were in my top three. Yeah. Uh, Beach Boys, please give credit to the studio musician, the yeah. record crew. Otherwise, they were just singers. That's they weren't just singers because I've seen the Beach Boys twice in concert, and they were incredible both times. They were, you know, uh, that's a good thing. Bino is right, but Nick Cave in the Bad Seeds. But I still, for me in my mind, it's always Nick Cave, yeah. and I, you know, obviously him and Warren Ellis, and I'm all in on Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and Nick Cave, and more albums came out under the name with the Bad Seeds, but for some reason. It's always Nick Cave driven more than anything else. And I just, yeah. the animals, fuck yeah. Yeah, the I mean, animals, the Ramones. I mean, I mean so many bands. Oh, yeah, yeah, we mentioned the Bell. Uh, Bell, we got the Who mentioned. Yeah, we mentioned the Who. They're they're in my top 10, the Who, definitely. Uh, but, but, Grinderman, but, well, that's yeah, an offshoot, but yeah. But, you know, and then for Solo, it's Bob Dylan, number one, Elvis, number two. David Bowie, number three, probably. Bowie would be number two for me for solo, yeah. and Dylan number one. Does Elvis make your top ten for for uh, solo? You know, it, it, here's the thing: I hardly ever go grab an Elvis Presley record to put it on. I know his importance. I have a lot of his music, yeah. but it's not something I just I want him in the mood to put an Elvis on. When I hear one of his singles, one of his songs, I love it. But you know what I mean? Who do you reach for? That's a better question. Maybe. Yeah, that's, okay. I like that. Like I reach I reach for yeah. Procol Harum a lot. Yeah. I love uh, Procol Harum. T-Rex, I go to T-Rex a lot for me. I love yeah. T-Rex, Mark yeah. Bowen. Electric Warrior gets spun. One of the most placed albums in my collection. Led Zeppelin, I, I reach for all the time. You know, when God. I go to Led Zeppelin, I, I usually go, I play the first album. That's my always go to, the first Led Zeppelin album. Well, it's a song. I mean, it's just. I think that's, great, that's great. my, I don't want to say best. Right. That's my favorite album, the first Led Zeppelin album. I like Engelbert Humperdinck. I prefer Tom Jones. Tom Jones, Engelbert, I'm in Tom Jones. Camp. Folks, we've got 146 watching. It's the first plea, the first begging of the show. Can you give us a thumbs up? It would help. And I'll do us all a favor by watching the, the I'm proceedings. Well. Think of, I'm trying to think of other bands here, but I guess, um, you know, I mean, all, solo artists in my top five also is, well, what about duo? Simon and Garfunkel, big fan. Warren Zevon. Queen's a top 10 band for me. Queen Warren Zevon's a top, a top five solo artist for me. Neil Young. I was in the store yeah. and they were Neil playing Young's Neil Young. Oh my God, the guy's good. Like Neil Young's a top Neil ten. Young with the guitar, the crunchy guitar tone he's got. Neil Young is a guy. George Harrison never got his head around Neil Young. He goes, he's watching him, and you can see him on YouTube talking about it. He goes, I can't stand the guy uh, voice, and I'm watching him play guitar, and he's going to Eric. What the hell says? What's he doing? <laughs> but the point is, it's all about tone, George. Yeah. Don't look. Listen with your ears, Harrison. Yeah. You know, he got a little conservative in his older age or last year. Neil Young would definitely be a top five solo artist. I love time. Oasis. Hey, what am I doing, Rob? How come I haven't got Rob? Yes, and I wouldn't be a um, top 10 band for me, but I do like, I like their first two records. Yeah. Everything after that is hit and miss. Mott the Hoople. I like Deep Purple. Deep Purple, I've, I don't, I can't go the distance. Black Sabbath is a top 10 band for me. Black, I like Deep Purple. Sabbath. I think Deep Purple I like up until uh, live up through live in Japan, and then I kind yeah, of yeah yeah I, I didn't like live in Japan. I had the album when I was a kid because it didn't it wasn't I, I was so used to Machine Head that when I heard Made in Japan I go they're playing it different. I don't like it. It's like Jimmy Page. The Doors we forgot the, the we forgot the Doors. The Doors are definitely the de Doors are definitely in my top twenty. Definitely. Hello, Rob. Holy Smiths. Uh, Louie, as a guitar player, you should be listening, Neil Young. The guy's got, I was listening to him uh, yesterday, Needle and Damage Done, uh, Cinema Girl. Somebody had a great sense thing, but it, it may have been Decade. It was so good. I just love Neil Young. Like, I'm a huge Neil Young fan. So happy that I saw the guy live. Rob, welcome to the show. Kids, tell me, were you, were, were you on uh, the show yesterday? Was telling me you were on the that William show yesterday. What, what? Why the fuck would I be on his show? I don't know. They're, this is what they're saying. Rob had a good showing there. Mm. I don't know. Um, did, he, did he have actual guests on? I don't even. I didn't see. Um, 
it's whatever you know his yeah. his descent into the abyss of nothingness is is well on their way yes uh california sound the uh, grateful dead jefferson yeah. airplane moby grape unfortunately moby, moby grape they like burn brightly on that one album they, and even the other couple albums are okay but that yeah. first one is so good you know the guests who are an incredible band and boy did i listen a lot to them growing up them and ccr man so many burton cummings one of the greatest voices of all times uh ruth ann seven was his guest that sounds yeah. fantastic I, cream yes cream yes uh, cream lasted what 18 months yes oh cream yeah short-lived but three the, great records so. three great i mean fourth one's yeah. good but the three great records yeah, First Jack Bruce, a, a great player. Jack Bruce, a uh, great vocal. Him and Clapton complimented each other very nicely. So can we swing into, since the wax is here, can we swing yeah. into the jazz mode? Now sure, we, let's you know? do jazz. Let's go. The big, the big news of yesterday is... Well, it's... Oh, you want a black not, and white covers from yeah, us? We're going to do... Hold on. It's not big news. Here's why it's not big news. Uh-oh. Most of those releases, he he had the parts for. He's been sitting on those. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's doing some new ones with Kevin and. Uh, yeah. 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 And what's the series? It's got a okay. name, right? There's a All name right. for oh, this the series. It's, okay, here's the deal. Hold well, on. It's, you know, I I'm gonna go through my own stream right now, so I can talk. You're gonna do your own, okay? Pablo Records, which is a '70s label of Norman Grant, who started Clef and Verve Records, and he was the man. He started Verve because he managed. Ella Fitzgerald in the seventies, he takes all these old jazz artists who were playing Monterey in that period yeah. in their senior years, nothing wrong with that. And started Pablo records. I think RCA distributed them in America at the seventies at the time, I think, or eventually all black and white covers. Some people hate the covers. I don't mind them. There's a lot of good stuff there, but you can get, except for maybe th two or three records. They're actually really cheap. Okay. We're in the That's dizzy. During the yeah. Dizzy uh, sale, we sold like batches of five to six to seven of them okay. for like 50 to 60 bucks. So you can get them cheap. Uh, even he, he's releasing 40 of them for $40 a piece. There's so. probably 10 of them that like are must owns. This is one of them. Yeah. Okay. This, so this is what probably, they look like, right? The right. Prices are probably creeping up. They're, they were just really well recorded records. Yeah. Okay. So here's why about a year ago, Chad dropped a video of saying talking about Pablo's that you should get, even if he didn't re re reissue them, they sound excellent. So he's going to be selling 15 reissues that a majority of them, I think he reissued in the nineties. So he still has the parts to them. Doug Sachs did a lot of them, but the, the originals sound outstanding. Yeah. And yeah. this one you could probably get for around 15 Definitely under twenty bucks, especially with Mickey Rourke on that record. I mean, I you know who wants well, it? It's Rourke. Or Rourke. Oh, you, you you sat here for twenty minutes naming names of bands, and then you mispronounce them. Mickey okay, Rourke. so I, I kind of feel like he has quality. He no. you know Doug Sachs mastered a bunch of them, and there's about again, like I say, ten you should get. This is one of them. I have a bunch over here. You can still I might, get most of them really live, cheap. Yeah. yeah, I might do a live stream later today where we'll probably talk about that. But now, um, what time's your live stream going, Rob? It might four go around four four p.m. today. Four o'clock. Okay. We're on at five today. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna uh, do a live stream? Yeah. Well, no, we do the uh, you know for you, the you, here's our VIP behind the velvet rope and all that. Yeah, so, yeah, the VIP velvet rope routine. Hold on. I got I got a bunch here. I got some here. So you know, he, it just seems he's not, all, he's not it seems like they have a lot of it seems like uh, they have a lot of extra press time if they're doing these Pablo records well, or anything else. It's not that okay, so here's the deal. And I'm not sliding him for doing business the way he does. The first 250 of these 15 are gonna be numbered, and the only way you can get them is by doing a subscription. And right? there will be guys that do subscriptions, yeah. right? And that's an inflow of cash to him. So right. There is a gimmick thing to it, I feel. But like, here's two of them you should own. If you, I mean, if you don't have them, this one probably is one of the higher end ones right now, I believe. I think Billy's record salon. Yeah, let's get Billy up. Billy has the pulse on this. Come on up, Billy. Billy come on up. Up. This one, it comes with a booklet, and he didn't say that 
the booklet's going to be in there. That's a good one. That, that is a good one, but it's a maybe a fifteen dollar record. That one twenty. No, no, I I think this one might be a little higher. Okay. Uh, hey, Maureen. So, well, nine years ago, I met my half sister in real life. She's a big uh, Rob the Wax fan. But the Maureen. So Maureen, uh, happy anniversary to you and me. Holy smokes. Hey, Billy. I didn't know people showered in New York. Also, he's not, he's not redoing this one, and this is probably the best sounding one I've I've come All right. across. All right, here we go, Rob. Go ahead. This one is probably the best sounding. He's not redoing this one. Hey, wait a second. And that one's actually, in Kula. Actually, if you go look this up on Discogs, there's probably none available, maybe one. And and for some reason, uh, Poetry on Plastic told me he, he went to an audio show where they demoed this. And right after, people just bought it up. Hey, so this is one of the more expensive uh, Pablo's. You okay, can what do you Bill, think about Bill, this? Wait, topic? is Billy going to have that excuse in Austin that you're not up? You don't. You have morning hair. You have bed hair. Oh, you know, geez. we're gonna we're gonna be roommates for three nights. There's right? gonna, yeah, Billy, you need to be prepared because Mazzy yeah. likes to come into your room in the middle yeah. of the night. <laughs> okay, look at what do you think about the Reverend's comment here? I mean, if you can press, you press. Yeah, uh, there's truth to that. Yeah, yeah. right. But these they're going to be forty bucks a pop if you go you know, subscribe. It's like six. The bottom line is, Rob, if if there's an audience for him, I mean, by doing what two hundred or two hundred fifty subscribers, that's not a lot compared to like the seventy five. So yeah, I think he yeah, realizes but, but, not. But Mazzy, let's Mazzy, let's just say you get half of those subscriptions automatically. That's an inflow of cash to you, you know. What oh, I, mean? I, I, I'm not. I don't doubt that. Oh yeah. boy. Okay, Massey, can you? Hey, Zap Vance, you should come up here and advertise for the love of God. Plus, I got Yellow Zeppelin in the collection. Finally, finally, Massey, can you read this? Do an advertisement and tonight. The pilot episodes of Merchants of Metal on the PB Thal Channel, 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. All right. So that's really good. I I'm not going to do the HTTP W. Uh, Hey, anybody else catch uh, Thor in? Uh, he's over in India right now. I he's see looking that. so chill. And Instagram, so amazing. Yeah. He's there. You know, he's there with the Beatles, with Donovan, with Mia yes. uh, Farrow. Paul with, Horn. He told them to fuck oh, off. Paul Horn. Hey, hey, hey can, we, can we just stop the name dropping? You did it for twenty minutes before uh, I came uh, up. Okay, you look how angry you are. This is bitter. Are you bitter? I, Rob? He is Rob, extremely wait a bitter. Second. We didn't. I didn't see a video on your. California tour. Um, I oh, have the footage. Oh, okay, there is footage rumored, rumored. but um, it didn't. It, it oh, oh, no, it was no Ryan, Ryan. Actually, people misconstrue this. I praise, I praise like almost every release that I have from Chad. And I have a lot of his records, all the uh, prestige stuff. The only thing I've ever complained about with him, and was not was the boxes with him and Mofi. Guess what? Mofi's one steps are smaller now. Why is Ryan that? Ryan Anderson has got you both on it's, the carpet. Here it is, it, Ryan. Up. It's a good discussion. It's a curiosity of a okay. of a label that people are wondering. You know, they're out there. But then again, I agree, Brian. You know, if people, a lot of people want to buy new records instead of going out finding used records. So, so there you go. Okay, here it is. That's we great. don't hate Chatty Cakes. I don't even hate well, him. You know, I'm I, waiting for the apology where, letter. Hold on, you know, hold on, Mazzy. Ryan Anderson, uh -oh. I haven't seen you in months. Where, were you taken? Were you put into hiding? He was with Victor, the the room, room. reportedly last seen in Is the company of you Ryan Anderson? Yes. Okay, are you guys selling metal style merchants or distributors for some metal, Zap? Zap will have to answer that. Okay. Now, Marcella goes, there's a smaller thanks going out to Massey. Her affection for you is dying. It's becoming smaller and smaller. smaller and I don't know why, but yeah. it's smaller thanks going no, we, to you. We te she texted me the other day some stuff she okay. found. Oh, she's right. I like Marcella. We met. Right. We had dinner together. Yeah, She's, she's lovely, great. for the love of God. She, she, She's into well, good a gorgeous stereo. Have you seen yeah. the woman's stereo? Oh, my she built god. her own fucking speakers. Oh, my I god. Know. I know. And they're beautiful. They're great. No, they're great. Uh, and they're big. They're big. Go big or go home. You know, oh, it's, 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 or, or oh, I know what she's talking about. She's talking about the box is small. It's not next to me, but I think they realize they didn't have to go bad. Yes. If they listen, if I'm a part of that, 
all the power. Oh, I love it. Okay, so Massey, your influence is being felt. I was held captive by Nardwar. <laughs> <laughs> Nardwar is fantastic. He's a sweet guy. You'll never meet a sweeter human than uh, Nardwar, I tell you. Oh, boy. Everyone's going to start getting their MoFi checks and their 5% what am I, discounts. What am I and... top lever, Rachel? Okay, well, are you getting your MoFi check? I'm sorry. I, didn't I threw mine away. I didn't feel because MoFi there was only check. one MoFi oh. that I didn't like and uh, that I had a copy and I got rid of uh, a copy. But otherwise, I'm fine with them, you yeah. know. But I don't buy a, a lot of the one steps. But I did buy the recent um, something else one step, which is excellent, in the thinner box. Uh, folks, also, I want to, if Jeremy V, if you're watching again, or because he just came in the one time he just randomly found us, I went and watched Jeremy's channel, and he's a good guitar player and a lot of fun watching him play. So I want to get him back at some point. It'll be Harry, great. Um, Yo, go the ahead. I don't know about, I haven't been to YouTube this year. That's a beautiful thing to see the cherry blossom. Already, there's cherry blossoms across the street all around here. Yeah, they're, they're all start, here. They're we starting to fall right. already, so I, you might have missed the, the window. So Spring is know. coming. The spring is in the air. Yeah, they call it all those pink, the Those white and pink uh, blossom leaves are all over the streets around here. So, Proghat, which MoFi do you own? That begs the question. If you only got one, which one is it? Let us know. Here's Jeremy. He came on the show. A couple of days ago, I said, we're in every day, so we haven't had a chance to work a rhythm with this young man. But he's a guitar player from Arkansas, and he's very good. And uh, it, ju it just plays a lot of stuff that I like. And uh, so I was really happy I subbed him up on my uh, other account because I do restrict this one generally to all the VC people. And believe it, I'm subscribed to a lot of VC channels. Joseph Williamson, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Well, uh, Steve Wilson, uh, just being interviewed by Rick Beato, talking about digital analog, he goes, he gets the analog, but he loves, he just absolutely loves digital. He says that's his thing. He loves loves playing with it. Manipulate. Uh, okay, and we got uh, a trouble here with this thing. We're getting rid of this. And you're gone, whoever the hell that was. Who? What? Oh, what? some guy taking chance, attacking oh, chance. Kind of yeah, I know any attraction. Yeah, but uh, chance. But who was the other one? There was. I just wanted to know who was in the guns. So I just, I did a lead. I saw it and I got rid of it pretty quick. Uh, but chance was in the gun site, so I don't. Somebody doesn't like chance. Uh, chance, are you here today? Are you watching? Let me know in the comments below if you are. Uh, my wife wants to go to the tulip festival. Uh, or show the, the everything's blooming right now. It'll be gone. You're going to yeah, be maybe fine. you could take Milton to the tulip festival. Seems like he likes tulips. Holy shit, tulip fancier, huh? Uh, I, oh, maybe he went after Dave as well. Anyway, I don't know. It doesn't matter, like Sue says. Um, so anyway, yeah, very happy to get these albums in yesterday. Of course, I wanted that Led Zeppelin send up. Now, here's the quandary do I put my Zeppelin? In with my Zeppelins, or do I put it in my special category of Beatle uh, send-up? You know, I, I have a section of, like, Beatle cover albums and kind of things that are, like, kitschy to the Beatles. At Louis, for I'm... me, I would put that in that section. Oh, yes. Okay. You didn't hear a word I said. I'm sorry. I'm, I've got the director I going. Wish, I you know, producer I needs to wait when you're in a commercial uh, to talk Okay, to no. You. Repeat, Massey. You know, I... I have uh, for me. I have a section of one yeah. or two, one cube or two cubes of Beetle cover. Rec uh, covers like yeah, yeah, send ups, so weird send ups, chipmunks, yeah. and things like that. I would yeah. put it there because the only reason I have it is because of the Beatles. But yeah. I get why a Led Zeppelin person would put it in the Led Zeppelin. Yes, I, I get it, Zepp. But you're the because you're coming from the Zeppelin point. We're buying it because of the Beatles. Oh, I'm buying it for both because that's number three. So it's one I wanted, but I mean, in particular, of all the Zap bootlegs that are out there, and there are a lot, that's one I really wanted. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Section. Good. Uh, we need to recommend a VC psychiatrist looking that way. There is a lot of uh, criticism right now uh, about the uh, condition of the vinyl community. Uh, you know that there's uh, it's it's looking there's some uh, nastiness going on. 
the only cure to the nastiness is how we conduct ourselves is, is, uh, as far as I'm concerned. So if you have free radicals right around, the point is for from our end of things to be uh, pleasant and entertaining and, and fun. Above all, fun. I think and, people are getting you're, 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 you're in the weeds that. of this no, faux right, drama. Well, I have a list of people I'd like to attack right now. Uh, I think people are getting the weeds of this faux to... drama, and it's not really there. Even <laughs> that text that was going around with a handful of us, I know Rachel's on yeah. that text stream, and yeah. a couple of, of my friends, our friends, were talking about the drama with those people, like, and like they're getting it so serious. Like, um, why, why even go uh, there? Uh, I... Uh, I think there's a few a few albums he would do with the guitarist, but mostly, yeah, at the the concert for Cologne. But um, I'll tell you, Marlon, get into the uh, John Amber Crombie, John Amber Crombie, go look up his stuff. Um, listen, Rich, you know, Rich, uh -uh. I have a feeling That's a that you look a lot like Lemmy from uh, yes, Gelmeister from Motorhead. Yeah. You know what? And Hawkwind, we have to remember Hawkwind. Our Hawkwind people are very dedicated. Massey, uh, were you ever into Hawkwind? Did you get a, a big know, collection, a few records? What's the story? I don't have any Hawkwind albums, and I wish uh -oh. I, I would like to have their records. For I, for whatever reason, I kind of missed them at the time um, during that. I, mean, I don't think they got much thrift over on no, this. Well, we, we had the records in the stores. Right. And yeah. what usually happens in the retail days, then if someone would pull out like a employee and play the record, you'd hear it and you get turned on to it. And for some reason, um, at that point, they were playing. Was that Canterbury? Are they one of the Canterbury bands, too? Um, but that am I wrong about that, Rachel? I don't think you're wrong about it at all, man. But, you know, we were I mean, in terms of that other I don't want to say the B list, you know, aside from King Crimson, yes, and the ELP and stuff. People were playing uh, Caravan and um, what's the other one? Camel. Yeah. And, yeah. And I got in, hey, I really got into Camel. And I Caravan. feel like I'm on Groundhog's Day when you guys talk. Hey, Marlon, do you You're like, do, okay. do you know Apparently who Calvin not. Key, do you know who Calvin Keys is, Marlon? Yeah. I need to get, I need to get those records. Calvin I, Keys. He's the records are expensive now, but um, yeah, I just never got into them because I never heard them really, you know. So, but I would like to get, I'd, I'd get them if I saw them for a reasonable price, but I'm not gonna like pay top dollar or anything. So, um, I'm trying to think of for Rob. I want to get him a, a really good uh, a jazz album. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Rachel, and I've been uh, saving the, up, and I've been finding a lot for you, Rob. And I've the, got it. I am you, getting it. What? What have we got gift from you? Yes, that's it. Yeah, Rachel, what did I originally that's, tell you? Was you one said, of the, make sure you get one that's no, no, not too on, gaudy. Remember, I told you historically yeah. in my life. Yes, what, <laughs> I've always been given bad gifts. You yeah. just confirm, and this has just confirmed it all. Well, you're going to feel better, Rob, because I've been out hunting down a jazz artist of my insight for you. And I didn't want to tell you, but I'm excited to announce this. Earl Clue. Earl Ugh. Clue. And it's incredible. And I'm getting, uh, there's about five albums I've got in a bundle with your cool? name on it. You got a stack. He became I, sort of an M.O.R. jazz. Right, uh, Rachel. Rachel, yes. I have a box with yes. records to you. Yes. So I can play the same shit you're doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Just stop it. That's very hurtful. Uh, Earl Clue. Cool. Thanks, Dave. Yes. They kind of got into that. He got into that MOR jazz stuff for a while, yes. I thought, in yes. the 70s. Always right. Um, Camel is great. Camel has their following. I like Camel. And I but I would get okay. Hawkwind if are I, we if, able as a group even to name our top five jazz guitarists? Oh yeah. Uh, well um it's not hard, Rachel. Grant Green. Grant Green uh Johnny McLaughlin. I don't think McLaughlin would be one of my top even though he's oh. so great. Um I would I'd pick um uh Wes Montgomery. I would pick uh, uh Kenny uh Kenny Burrell. Yeah, Kenny's I right. would pick um God, who am I missing? Um yeah, Wes Montgomery definitely. Um Grant Green. You know, I like the earlier McLaughlin best. Joe, like yeah, Joe Pass. 
Yeah, he's not one of my. I mean, he's great. Not, I don't think of him. I don't pull his records out either. You know, Joe. Well, I'm, I'm asking, I have a question for Django. You. Django. Oh yes, Django. Yeah, you're a little older than my friend, but my friend went to UCLA, and he remembers that during the '70s, well, Joe Pass had a, a resurgence because he toured college campuses, and he kind of was given the moniker the fastest guitar player ever. Do you remember that? Oh, Django Reinhardt, yeah. Charlie Christian. Only thing I wish, and you know, Charlie Christian did all that great stuff with Benny Goodman. I wish there was more of him without yeah. that. Is there? Um, oh, I go! Sonny Chirac. I'm I right love, here. I'm yeah, telling you. Sonny Chirac is almost like a, a metal guitar player. This As is like, he knows, Tersh Riptal. This is like yeah. a jazz Tersh metal Riptal, album. Yes, he was on ECM Records. I know his stuff. This is like a jazz metal album, this album. Yeah, George Benson. I, You know, I think what ha what ruined it for me, I like his earlier albums too, but then when Masquerade came out, that's when I worked in stores, and that was so overplayed, and, you know, Masquerade, and this Masquerade, and that album was huge, you know. Holy smoke. We should do our easy listening top tens, like Andy Williams, uh, no, we should not. Now, now, why is that? Why is there such a kickback against great easy listening? Tom because Jones, Rachel, you're you're Fredo, doing it. You're Angel doing it. Fred, to be fun. Julio Iglesias. You're doing it. Yeah. To be fun. And Tony Orlando. And no, that's that's what I mean. I like those records, but and I like Benny. I like the the big man of Benny Goodman stuff. I have that. I have a CD box set. The, the Charlie Christian. Did you hear? You know the box set that looks like an amp. It looks like an amplifier. That box set. Did you see uh, Rachel? I, no, I'm not joking. Tony Orlando and Don, the originals, yes, are doing like a farewell kind of tour right Isn't now. At the end, as we come to the end, Jim Hall, well, it, he's not looking so hot. Well, Tony, well, what do you think about it? what's happened? Is it uh, is it a weight gain, Rob, or yeah, weight loss? Yeah, it looks like Tony Orlando ate torn Tony Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Tony Orlando. Eight, the two ladies that comprise Don. Yes. Charlie oh my gosh. Holy so, so he's become a little heavy set in his uh, later years. You know, John McLaughlin, a lot of people like John. You know, I like it. Uh, what's the guy? What's the guitar player? Oh, I know who in Oregon, the band Oregon, the jazz. Yeah. Uh, they started on Vanguard, went to ECM. I love that. I'm going to sing a little bit of that now, a little easily. Oh, I like Ralph Towner a lot. I mean, he's can't get used to losing you no matter what I try to do. Gonna live my yeah. whole Ralph life. Ralph Towner, is, I like him a lot. And loving like, you. That first Oregon album, it's almost yeah. like a movie. Fantastic. It's less jazzy and more new agey, and that's always yeah. a bad word. But that first Oregon record on I, I bought because of the cover on Vanguard Records. Okay, question for Sue. Do you have any Wayne Shorter? Yep. Yes, you do. Yeah, do. Go show Grant your Wayne Shorter for it, Joe. All right, she ain't going over there. <laughs> but yeah, we got Wayne Shorter in the collection. We try and re represent. Oh. There's a lot of named oh, artists. Bill Frizzell, of course. I love Bill Frizzell. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Eric. That's fantastic. <laughs> the Vancouver Fox. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Holy smokes. Uh, my dad was a Benny Goodman fan. I took him to see Carnegie Hall, New York. It was during the day. Let us walk in the car. So it was like visiting a church for my dad. Well, of course, being English and then at Carnegie Hall. Holy smokes. I mean, Gosh, Rob, I'm excited about jazz Gareth right Bailey. now. Gareth now how come, Rob, how come Dixieland is not getting him. I know he's jazzy, but he's more... Yeah. What Rachel, is, Rachel the only reason I come up here every day, and yeah. I'm going to tell you the exact reason, Yes, is I'm always waiting for a thunderbolt from the sky to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> and one of these days, your ship will come in. Holy yeah. smokes. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's Dixieland jazz... But that doesn't get a lot. Zydeco doesn't get a lot of thrift in the vinyl community. These, you know, bebop doesn't even get a lot of love around here. And I love what? bebop stuff. How come bebop doesn't? I don't know. You know, I mean, I thought I, it did. How many people really discuss and and show Charlie Par Parker records? Not a lot. Or Bud Powell records occasionally. Mm -hmm. Or um, Lionel, Hamp early Lionel Hampton. Um, 
all that stuff. Lionel like, Hampton Dizzy, was a bastard. Dizzy Gillespie. Have you heard Lionel Hampton stories? Yeah. You know, Dizzy Gillespie has some records on Pablo, too. I've seen him um, before. I, 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 I just showed you I, one. I know. Well, okay, but we're talking in terms of, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Frank doesn't like Bebop. He's against it. Oh, I love Bebop. Um, I love that woman, that um, that vibe player, Sarah, because I asked her about Hamp, and she really knew, oh, yeah. obviously, being, playing the vibes. Hey, uh, when they study the artists. Baggy made a, a really astute comment. Okay, go ahead, Rob. Take this on. I don't like Charlie Parker because most of his recordings are horrible recordings that sounded like they were recorded in the men's room of the... the yeah, center. that's a dumb reason not to like music, Rob. No, and it's not that. It's just the recording of the times. You know? I, I often don't care for what Mazzy has I mean, to say on this Django part. Reinhardt's records aren't like, quote, great recordings, you know? That and, is experimental. Oh, hold on. I got to stop the show right now for this. Ron Wood, famous for the faces... Yesterday's paper, folks, if you want to watch some early Ronnie Wood, learn about his story, how he came out with the creation, uh, active in the uh, London music scene prior to his fame with the Rolling Stones, some faces with Rod Stewart. Uh, even we were talking about uh, Twink, the English uh, progressive maestro that played with everybody. Yesterday's paper's latest upload is so good. It was like a... It was like a freaking documentary. Here's a link to it. Thank you, producer. Sue and I watched it yesterday. And Ronnie Wood, uh, just so excellent. And talking about the sound, the tone of the man's guitar. Talk about Jeff Beck. Talking about Ronnie Wood being way ahead of his time. Uh, uh, presaging the kind of guitar tones that we would hear in the late 60s. He's doing those around 65, 66. It is totally worth stopping the show. I want everybody to watch that thing, and I wanted to get it while YP was here. Well, wait, wait, hold on, I want to hold show on, my support hold, and the hold. respect I have for his artistry hold and for second. the professional presentation hold of on. all he does. Hold on one second. All right, go ahead. But I don't after up. you after you do two below average musical yes. videos. Yes. About this stream and Renee, yes, you can't go backwards. He's you moving backwards. forward. He's make, moving forward. You, you, it's got a backwards. Well, I don't think he, he but he didn't post those on his channel, right? Uh, wow, I saw that Runwood video. I didn't even realize Jesse Paper did it. He's the guy. Uh, Rach, uh, the Va Ronnie Wood video has gone viral more than a hundred thousand views in less than 48 hours. It's worth every single view. The research you did on that, the presentation, as usual, and and again, the music that you put in with yourself. Uh, hold, hold on one second. Here. Uh, yesterday's okay, paper, can you put that uh -oh. comment back up again? Please? Yes, yesterday's papers. Here's uh -oh. how you should have wrote this comment. Uh -oh. Thanks, Rachel. The Ronnie Wood viral video has gone viral. More than 100,000 views in less than 40 hours. Suck it, Mazzy. You should have well, put suck it, Mazzy, at the uh, end of this uh, Don't hurt Mazzy. It's not a competition, Rob. Yeah, you know, if I used a robotic AI voice instead of my Wally Cox British accent, I know Wally Cox is not British, you know, if I use an AI voice. No, no, no. Now it's the wrong way to take Yesterday's think. papers. Can you I'm give kidding. me a I'm suck it, kidding. Mazzy, please? There now listen, it's not a. You should be embracing my philosophy. It's not a comp No, he, I don't. He does completely different things. Yeah. I like his videos. I like his videos. It's it, well, Mazzy. it was so good. Uh, now, hey, okay. yesterday's papers. Uh -oh. Could you do a, a video where you walked around a mall? Screaming? The only reason Ronnie Wood uh, was led into the Stones is because of his haircut, and he was skinny on drugs. No, it was reason. also because of his vibe and his attitude. Well, that's just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. he was, he was like there were like drum. ten better guitar players in line, but didn't fit with the Rolling Stone ethos. Okay, hold on. Now I got to tell you something about this. So Ron Ronnie Wood is a hella great guitar player. He is, he is, He's he not to be underestimated. And when you watch yesterday papers, yesterday's papers uh, documentary on Ron Wood, you understand how good yeah. and how I know he is. I prefer him. I prefer him with the small faces and the faces. He is influential. What about the creation? It goes back even before Mass. Yeah. And they're playing stuff that's so far ahead. Oh, hi, Texamon. 
It's Rachel. Yam love you. Yam love. Okay, that's great. Uh, Ron Williams, killer bass of Jeff Beck Group. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I saw him with the new Barbarians. I like Ronnie Wood. No, you know, there's the one, the one album, I don't have grills, but there's one album I want. And that's the uh, Rod Stewart Unplugged. Yes. Where With Ron Wood. That is really good. I wish they would reissue that. Well, anyway, it, all I'm trying to tell you, everybody, is if you're not subscribed to this channel and you're not watching, you're missing out. It's top tier stuff. Top, absolutely yeah. top tier. The best. You know, the balance that, that between, you do have to offer. The the wonderful balance between uh, Ron Wood, Ronnie Lane, and um, Steve Marriott. That what a great band they yeah, were. Yeah, Steve Marriott. I love Steve. They have, they have some good. I mean, they had one of the best singles in the 60s with Ichigo Park, you know. I love that performance and, when they're and, at the Beat Club in Germany and you got, yeah. and they're just skipping along to Ichigo Park. And here comes the nice, right? Wow. That drug song. Well, yeah. And then, well, of course, they talk about Steve Marriott because he was brought up with that East End London kind of, um, what do you call it? You know, the floor, walking the floorboards is vaudevillian kind of sensibility. A bit like Chad and J Dave. Chad Sunday Dave. afternoon. Do you do Chaz and Dave. Not Chad, Chaz. Chaz and Dave. And those two guys with that kind of, you know, cockney sensibility. Chazzy, is that Chazzy Cakes? Not Chazzy Cakes. It's Chaz and Dave. Yeah. And they were great. And uh, they, but they, they, you know, they sang in their own answer because it was Chaz Hodges. Chaz Hodges, of course, uh, with the uh, Outlaws. He was with the uh, Joe Meek outfit, the Outlaws. And I told YP, he's still got to do something like it. It's a lot of fertile ground that hasn't been dug up. Do something on the early 61. Do the Outlaws, the UK Outlaws, and do uh, the uh, uh, Southerner, Carter Lewis and Southerners. Focus on those two bands because so many great talent came out of there. And, of course, my friend Lauren Green. And that was so cool because I talked to the store owner right at the foot of my driveway. And the guy goes, hey, uh, he goes, have you heard of Lauren Green? I go, Lauren Green, I know he's a, I, I, I know him super well. So anyway, it's really cool. Uh, you mean from a, Bonanza? No, a different guy. Not that Lauren Green. That's the whole thing. Uh, JB speaks so powerfully, uh, Rob. Uh, this is a word for you, cautionary, admittedly. Take a look um, at that. Hey, uh, okay. can I ask, since Tom, Haters are gonna hate. Hey, Tom Rashawn, I know you just woke up. We were talking yeah. earlier. Did you work for Capital when these pieces of shit came out? Uh, oh, we, yeah. We're are you, about are you accusing him of designing them? Well, well we hopefully he's not involved. I hope, you, I hope you didn't design these. Nasty and I are this on looks, record. This looks Perfect. like a Roy, Roy Kahara design, except he didn't work yeah. there then. Um, I, I should have, before I... Yeah. Before I I better look at the booklet. You know, you know, people. I often feel like I've been um, the, when I come into these streams, I've been dragged here by my family to visit my senile okay. grandfather. Okay, he's gone in art direction. David Costa and Emil Ducane or Ducane. Okay, oh, they're, they're London. These were designed in London. Oh, uh, for now we know why. Walker, Rob Walker, these, you bastard! What a shit ass design. What were you thinking? Good, thanks. I didn't think, Tom. These were, if Tom, these were we're sorry, London, even to wait, even if these were designed in London, then Apple had something to do with it. Was this your period, though, Tom? Did you work? What a sh and they didn't That's finish it, horrible. but they used They're the wrong the mixes. Apple. There's the Apple mass, yeah, but they put on Apple on all of them. That's but I know it's, it's just we're very upset. Massey and I are just furious right now, yeah. I mean, these are the worst pieces of shit. Those are ever. horrible packages. And they didn't even finish yeah. the series, they didn't finish the series. They didn't, oh god, I mean, this is a better design. Was this your what your period? Except they used the wrong fucking mixes, they yeah, used the, the package, gorgeous. But these are this is a nice design. This is great, it's top tier design, but. Let's see who designed this. Is there a booklet? I hope Tom Rashawn did. He's one of our favorites. I started right after these. Okay. It seems like something Tom would create because well, it's Tom, good. Oh, you know, I know this guy is a good designer. This, okay, this is Vartan. Vartan? Vartan. Well, I know him because he worked for um, Universal. I yeah. met Vartan at Universal. He's an art director. I didn't realize he'd. Oh, this is when they went to Universal, of course. That's why. Capital got bought out. 
by un, Universal bought Capital and EMI. That's why. Barton's a good designer. Yeah. They do right? look oh, like that. That's right. So this is good. They did something right, but still the wrong mixes. Like they just couldn't let the Capital mixes stand. What a fucked up. What a cock up. Okay. I got to do my Bobby Gas uh, by popular uh, demand is back. Here we go with a Bobby. This is a Bobby story that I'm going to recount for you all now. Focus. David, my fave story of Wednesday is the time Janice Joplin picked him out at a party and told him he was hers today. Randy got scared and disappeared from the fire. <laughs> hey, hey, Tom, can I ask Tom or Sean another question here? Yes, I mean, I know Tom right. never comes on here. All right. But Tom, did you, didn't, did I get this wrong? Weren't you on the press check for the, um, the yeah. printing or something for the Beatles mono box? Is that right or wrong? Yes. That, I think I remember you telling me that. Bobby, i done one of my best Bobby impersonations for a while now. I hope you like that. Bobby is so great, and he's friendly. He's from Toronto. Still got one of the best uniforms of the whole NHL, those simple blue and white slip maple leaves. Fantastic. Massey, what about Badfinger on Apple? Why didn't they go huge? Well, actually, they, they were huge. They had huge hits, yeah. but they got fucked up by management. They're, they had horrible managers that stole their money. And that's why yeah. two of them yeah. you know, kill, uh, committed suicide. Okay, let's uh, see. But they had big singles. Their first couple albums, no matter what, yeah. uh, come and get it. Um, Baby, of course, of course, they made a shitload of money off Nielsen's uh, yeah. Without You. Without You. But then they went to Warner Brothers and they couldn't put out the Warner Brothers because there was still something with Apple and they got fucked up. It was on the press check for all the other Beatles package. 2009, the mono box was produced in Japan. Interesting. Uh, okay, now, uh, you're having fun with the Rage Big Deal. <laughs> okay, now, uh, Rage, uh, Angelo. Angelo was in two days ago. Uh, he's, I, I think he's busy like everybody else. He's on a vacation. He's just taken a trip to the Big Apple, from what I understand. Oh, Angela is on vacation with the missus, and they are in New York City. So, Angela, we love you, whatever's happening. Angela was too good for us from the big day one. <laughs> Angela was too good for us before he even heard of us. But we love him. Angelo is in good relationship with the channel. Text him on me. I'm love me. I'm happy with you. Me, me love Texamon. Rob, when did you first become aware that Texamon was going to be one of our leading commenters? Uh, kind of a whip with the comments in the peanut gallery. I don't think it's a real person, actually. Now, why is that? Uh, any hints as to why it might not be the real guy? The, uh, real the stock footage photo. Yes. The, the, the kind name. Of racially no, charged no, name no. towards yes. sex support. Yes. Uh, Oh, uh, Rachel, it's me, Prague Hat. I've got a different account now. Rob responds to this. We don't, it's me, Prague oh, okay. Hat, different account. Okay. I don't believe it's you. Maybe How can we believe everything? There's, there's a there. rash of Prague Hat impersonators. Prague Hat impersonations. Uh, okay, something's happening now. There is a mini Moog synthesizer flight case for sale on reverb wow uh i'm going to take one for the team says bobby this is a beautiful comment mm -hmm. i had to explain what mono was to all the executives in the beatles meetings they didn't understand what mono was jesus <laughs> how old were these kids are you Why talking about the kissing that? disease tom were, well tom worked at capital then that's why it's yeah. so bizarre I love this, Massey. You're our best at uh, understanding the English uh, idioms. Can you? Well, try that's it? that's lazy Sunday afternoon. That's the, in the song of uh, by the Small Faces. Yes. Can you read Hello, it? Boy. Hello, Mrs. Jones. How's your bird's lumbago? Lumbanga, lumbango. Must have been. Yeah. Lumbago. 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 Yeah. Mustn't grumble. Mustn't I can't do grumble. the accent though. That's well, right. I thought you were doing pretty good. Uh, I know what he's talking about. Too bad music executives don't know music, correct? Some do, but, you know, the ones that do don't last long. Yeah. How come Duophonic didn't take off? Duophonic pressing? I think um, uh, 
Tom knows, or he knows of, uh, there was a, a friend of mine was the president of Capital, but he only lasted, I think, less than three yeah. years, and they bought out his contract. In the early 90s, Hale Milgram worked for Warner and Electra. He had the biggest passion for music. He, be, he becomes the Capital president around the time. He he signs Bonnie Raitt because he knew her from Warner Brothers, and she had her biggest hit. She finally broke out after, what, seven, eight Warner Brothers records on Capitol with that crazy little thing called love. But um, and he signed uh, Richard Thompson to Capitol, which didn't sell a lot, but a great artist. And that's when um, what's the guy with the big baggy pants, the rapper? Hey, it's uh, they, it's, uh oh, come on. Hammer, uh, MC Hammer. Hammer MC Hammer. Hammer was there and Crowded House was there. But they they basically bought out his contract and he got like seven million dollars okay, be before we go on to this we got breaking news in the in the world of our music and our friends rob i need you you're down at muscle beach i need you to reach out to p diddy puffy he's gone he's on the lamb he's running he's flying he's gone he's in some sort of he's in the Hebrides, he's hiding yeah, somewhere. Actually, he's gone. Actually, well, are, you gonna, are you going to talk about a winch? Is this a witch hunt too, Rachel? Actually, he had one of his seats reserved for Trump on his plane. <laughs> I am so, so, so you're saying, what is a witch hunt? No, I mean, this is P. Diddy we're talking here. Okay? Is he on the run? Is he actually he's, on the run? He's oh. left. He's on the lamp. He's flowing out of the country, Norman. And is he's granted. I, I haven't. I didn't hear all this. I just heard he got raided yet yesterday. He's oh, no, flowing no. the country. They actually had a warrant, Rachel. So you know. He's on the okay, hold on. Text him on um tranny chaser. No am no no do diddle, oh, Rachel. No. no do me, Rob. Can you protect? Can you come in with a word of protection for me? Him want, who, him who? want, him want, connect me. <laughs> to who? To you. It, it, to me. He goes, sir, I am want contact. I'm, me, I'm scared. Tell him no sex. Yeah, like this. No sex. I was frightening. Hey, um. Yeah. You're made, he said, the person's made up, Rachel. What do you care? Well, it I seems real. Up, yeah. A video of him making kebabs. Yeah, he's friends. got kebabs being made. Kebab Hold on, Rachel. You have a good kebab maker, Dex, and well, me, I'm love. I, I need to call someone right now, and I'm not joking, to deal with an issue. <laughs> oh. I'm probably going to get connected to Dex or mom when I do it. He's on the 405 right now in a Ford Bronco, mm, <laughs> driving hopefully. very slowly. Anyway, it's very it's shot. Rob, are you going poop poop? Well, that, I think it's Rob's got. He's to make, go. He said he had to make a call. He's he to, making a call. Hang on. He has to call his bookie. Hang on. He's got. A, he's checking into a Pete Diddy story. Yeah. Well, anyway, are you shocked by this message? Did you see it coming? Where you did? Where there was. You know, I don't pay attention to that guy, so I don't know what you yeah. know. If people do shit now, you know, this is going to bring us back around full circle. You know, if there's evidence, you go after the person if he's innocent. They'll be, he'll be found innocent, hopefully. You know, if he's guilty, they'll get him. I mean, that's what happens. You know, you you, go, you talk about your guy Trump and the witch hunt and all Love that him. shit. Yeah. He gets more breaks than any oh, of us. The law, Massey. He's playing it by the law. Yeah, but he's I getting more him. breaks with delays. Nobody and... lost any money, and the, there were no victims. Okay, he okay. Pay okay. back everything. Why don't he you? Owed. I yes. I will Liberal pay you meltdown. I am so if I give you. if I give you ten dollars yes. after the stream, would you yes. watch the Daily Show last night with John Stewart? His segment on victimless crime, exactly this. Watch that and okay. explains how not a, that what a victim is victimless crime is, and this is not that. Well, he it, paid the he paid back all the money. This is the thing. No, actually, he, no, no. Okay, anyway. hold on. Look at this, Massey. Read this. This is good. <laughs> I don't even want to just don't sully thyself. Oh yes. Uh it is a, okay, and so we've had thievery from Steve Jones on the sex page, Josh. I didn't see that, but did you know Steve Jones gave Woody Woodmansy some money for the symbols that he ripped them off him? And the last thing he gets 50 years earlier. Holy smoke. Mm. Uh, Massey, you ever steal any memorabilia other than the brick off of Paul McCartney or some garbage? Um, we stole his garbage. Yeah. But, no, but now, it, it, that's a question. Like, Have you heard the name A.J. Weberman? A.J. Weberman is, is the infamous guy that is a yeah. Dylanologist who 
Dylan had to put a restraining order because he would follow Dylan, go through his garbage, go through his stuff. Yeah. Uh, he, not really a stalker for Dylan himself, but what like did all this stuff. So if the garbage is, and there's been uh, court cases about when is the garbage, you know, thrown out and not the yeah. owner there. Yeah. How much? Uh, Massey, yeah. What do you think about I that? I don't know that. Movie. Okay. Well, it would behoove you. Behoove you. This is a great film right now. It's good. It's a new film. I don't know about it. Uh, I broke a rib over Paul McCartney. It's a story for another time. Tom, breaking a rib over Paul McCartney. Uh, Rob, you ever break anything over one of your favorite stars? I'm about to break something right now dealing with hey, you. Tom, I don't remember exactly, but when we <coughs> hung out, my friend Vernon and I hung out with Hale after he, when he was after Capital Day, when he, he lives in Santa Barbara, and he told us some great stories about McCartney coming to Capitol and you know, McCartney being kind of pissed of the promotion they didn't feel Capital was doing when he was doing that period of, um, I guess, Flowers in the Dirt, when early yeah. 90s, those albums, whatever those albums that were. That was a big thing. I mean, he had uh, Elvis Costello helping out Flowers in the Dirt. Hale would, his, his office would call me, his office would call me and offer me tickets to any shows in the States on McCartney's tours. So we went wow. down to LA, we'd see, we'd get great seats wow. that we, I think we saw him in Anaheim, we saw him somewhere else down there okay paul mccartney hated capital yeah paul hated capital why he didn't did paul hate him? you know i i think they didn't feel he was getting the right promotion yet he wasn't putting uh, out like great 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 albums you know that's too bad but he went back with capital he went remember he leaves he goes to columbia and then he comes back to capital wow yeah i don't know man or I, EMI, what yeah. i think about Mount paul I'm and then he left him. again to go to concord concord uh, Garth Brooks really hated Capital. I mean, really hated him. Uh, Tom knows like, the dirt. You know what Paul is? Paul, I like Paul McCartney on a number of levels. One thing I like about him is he likes to take uh, like the train, public trains, and he just tries to li still, even at this point with everything behind him, and he's nostalgic and he loves Liverpool in the old days and stuff, and he still drops by from time to time. Like he's got that pull, that draw that nostalgic sense of who am I in the great universe, that existential drive that's still part and parcel of the man's psyche. I respect that. I think that's incredible. Uh, the executive lawyer's pool changes is what happened. Uh, Tom, Tom Rashawn was, um, not only was he a musician in the Los Angeles free art, uh, yes. free music. I'm blanking out right now. I'm too early. Sorry, Tom. Yes. But right. he was a, uh, art director designer at warner brothers for a number of years and then at capitol records so he designed a lot of album covers packages cd era mostly i think at least in the especially in the in the in at least in the uh, capital period the other problem with uh new york situation is that new york realizes they're shooting themselves in the foot and there's a lot of kickback against it from other business types that are going screw you yeah well that's what you uh, you won't do it watch the daily show last night That'll they talked happen. about just that who yeah. all these rich people are up in arms because well, they want to be above that. the law. And they, get, they even said, these are the laws, but we're allowed to break them, basically. Well, it's the appellate court ruled in favor of, okay? That's well, just legit. It was an obscene amount of money. They cut it well, in half as they should have. And well, even they haven't cut it in half. They only cut the now. deposit in half. We'll see if-, if Yeah, if, I know, if, exactly. Yeah. But we're not worried about that. And he doesn't have this, work the- He doesn't system. have- You're the, the one that's always saying, let the system work. I'm telling yeah. you, okay. let's let the system work. I, I agree. Right I agree with that. Of course and, you. and he doesn't have three billion yet because they haven't even gone public yet. No, it's six billion. He's okay. just- okay. But just they haven't gone public course. yet. So he might- the IPOs coming out- Every other every other business of Trump that's been on the stock market ended in bankruptcy. So we'll see. We'll see. It, and Truth this, Social this is, is, is shedding. This, hold on. All this money is determined oh, by their filing. Yeah. The people that they're going to file with. Yeah. When when it drops on the thing, no one can buy the stock, and it has no value. Stock market is speculation. You know he if you know he could get loaned that money if his stock is worth six billion when it happens and someone might take that as collateral we'll see and um, it doesn't mean the stock's going to be worth six million later but we'll, uh, okay billion. it's rating a uh, Trump media stock to start trading on Tuesday as DJT yeah 
Uh, trust me, so, so, so are in for a great time. Stock surges before IPO. Dow of Jones. Of course it will. Price. It will surge to begin with. Fantastic. I know I'm investing. I hope you are too, man. I would invest your, my money in that. It's going to be, well, it's going to make money. There's, there's no doubt about it. Trust uh, social uh, platform source in first day of trading on NASDAQ. 58 minutes ago, it's IPO. It's happened. It's out now. All right, but Rachel. Holy smokes, this is exciting. Congratulations, President Donald John Trump, 45th President of the United States. Absolutely exciting. There's pandemonium in the air. Uh, Rob, uh, will you be investing yourself uh, in the Trump portfolio? DJT? Yeah. Hey, Rachel, I'm, uh, yes, coming up, I'm about to go public with an item called it's called the finger. Uh oh. Take this oh, and you Rob. It into your rectum. Whoa. Rob, that's hurtful. That's very hurtful. Um, okay. I heard, I oh. heard, uh, Nioma retirement, uh, cage, yeah. uh, uh, group living arenas are going it well. Might, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be good for a lot of people for a yeah. while. It'd be like a Ponzi. It says, true. Yeah. Yeah, Trump True Social is now a public company. Experts warn its multi-billion dollar valuation defies logic. And you know, that's happened in that's tech. That's the liberals take it's defy no, logic. It's that's the same happened in, because it defies logic for you liberals, but for us. Rachel, Trump, there's liberal, been plenty of fantastic. there's been plenty of tech stocks that have yeah. gone like that too. Well, well, what about the crazy do you have any do you have any mice? Do you have any it's just a great day for us? Do you Matt, have Matt. any we're happy Rachel, we're Rachel, celebrating? Do you, do you have any MySpace stock? Okay, yes. hold on. Can I speak to this? Because I well, heard a rumor about you. you and Rachel, you and Sue, Rachel. Yes, what's happening? The reason you're living in squander yeah. is because you heavily invested in the thigh master. Yes. And you and lost all your money. Yeah, but it was Suzanne Summer. She seems so believable. Here's a good quote. I mean, we'll see. The underlying business. You got great, though. It didn't work, really. But anyway, good, go on there, Matt. This is where we are right now. The underlying yeah. business doesn't seem to be worth much. There's no evidence that this is going to become a large, highly profitable right. company. Yeah. I'm reasonably confident the stock price will eventually drop to $2 a share and could go even below that if the company blows through the money. Speculation. It gets oh, right. it's, it's, it's speculation. It's total Let's speculation. Deal with the facts. Let's it's deal total, with the facts. But eventually the stock has to make. Look, look what's happening with X. You know, uh, Elon, look how much money Elon okay, Musk has Nick lost. Is this so much in this comment. Massey, this is a cautionary tale from Nick for you. You're obsessing, Norman. Well, That's you brought it up. You brought this whole thing up with True Social. Well, I'm just excited because this is a huge IPO. I'm excited. I'm investing. Then you should, uh, Rachel, uh, Rachel, you should put all your money in it. I'm put going all, to rub. Hey, okay, Rachel, could, yeah. you bring, could you bring up Novice Nick's uh, True Social account, please? <laughs> X, is not, X is not now. Uh, Twitter was... <clears throat> Thank you. We're having a great talk of music records. Remember, don't get the don't get the first pressing on this. this is a case where you want to get the second one. Okay. Right. They fixed Holy the, fuck, uh, there's so much education that we're providing on the TV show. Boy. Uh wow. I'm I'm just I'm just well, I don't Dr. Know, Robert, I'm just Dr. Robert, if yeah. you're watching right now, be sure to come in three minutes before Rachel closes the stream. Come on up, wake up, Doc. We got an hour to go before the doctor will be here. The good doctor will be here. Uh, oh, Elon he, will be just fine. Of course he will. He's the richest man in in the world, or at least in the states. Yeah, of course he'll yeah. be fine. Holy but he's God. lost a shitload with Twitter and X. That's what. Well, um, also the the Tesla stock is going down. Yeah, but as you say, as I like to say, Rob, you know, no car sale ever really loses money because years after the car continues to be yeah, sold uh, and resold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How are those NFTs? Have they gone up in price? I don't even know. Uh, no, it's not on. Like sour no, Nick owns three of those NFTs. Okay, this is hurtful. Now, I think everything's going really good. Okay, uh, thank you, Brockhat. Have a great day. Now, you know what? We had... Uh, we, we had oh, don't yes. call him Brockhat when he's Rush Rody. He's Rush Rody. 
can you imagine being a roadie? Mazzy, did, did you ever do roadie work ever in your long listing no, of rock and roll? No. Like I mean, I, well, no. Well, I did. I worked for an audio video company. We did conventions. Yeah. So I did set up speaker systems and I sped it like slide projection stuff and audio stuff and, yes. and you know, video projection things. So I did yeah. set up stuff, but it wasn't for bands. It was for Can I, can I go back to something that matters, Rachel? Yeah, it's absolutely. <laughs> when I first read Prokhat's new moniker, I thought he was talking about Roadie Rash. What's oh, Roadie Rash? Rash? David uh, Donnelly, what's Roadie Rash? Yes. Roadie Rash. And, I mean, just so much is happening right now. Massey, I'm excited, and I know you are as well. And of what? Just, well, of this great little headline here. Trump's true social platform soars on the first day of training. There we go. Soars in first day of training. This is Money Watch, CBS News. Great organization. Well, hold on. I do yeah. have, have a question, Rachel. Yes, uh, Rob, go ahead. Why I thought one of the exchanges were not allowing them to trade on the exchange. Well, they're on NASDAQ. Now that's as far as I know, they're on NASDAQ. That's one of the big indicators of the economy, right? It's the tech st platform for tech stocks. Uh okay. Uh music of the house is Peter. I'm dancing in my Trump shoes. I'm eating a Trump steak. I'm playing a Trump golf course, all thanks to Trump University. This is education at work. That's fantastic. Thank you, Peter. Okay, maybe the university was the best idea. But in all fairness, I believe it was just a, a money deal and, they, and they, Trump oh, sold them the oh, right to use the Hold on, Rachel. I don't believe he was all actually... Mary Mazzy's <laughs> nonsense is not what keeps the stream going. It's my yeah. nonsense. No. Can you highlight like Marcus Thompson's comment? Yes, Marcus Thompson. Here we how go. Does this, how does this make sense whatsoever? Okay, let's take a look at it. My merch... I, as far as I know, I'm the only one to get me and Harry are the only two people to get wax merch, and it's not even my merch, it's Rachel's merch. It's fantastic, it's your merch, right? right, right. So, explain to me how, Under exclusive how, license. how, how does a roadie rash happen when just two people own the merch? Yeah. Own the merch, wait till I send you those pants. I am so excited about all of them. I'm afraid that the, my likeness will be over the crotch. I'm worried because Massey's trying to find an article that says Trump's losing money. No, it's I'm not. So, happening no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Someone texted me something. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, he's Rachel, he, he's going through money. He's blowing through money. I love my Trumpy bear. Anyway, it's a great day. Things are going well. Congratulations on can the you, IPO. Can you, can you show us your statement of purchasing 100 shares of the stock? <laughs> Rachel, oh, oh, wait. Matt, Matt, he's gone about this the wrong way, Rachel. You know what happens? Right now, and if you believe in, hold on, Rachel. Rachel show, your, show your trap. Uh, if you believe in him so much, Rachel, yeah, right yeah. now, go buy 100 shares of the stock. Why are you guys right now, put your money? Put your money where your mouth is. Look at There you go. You have an opportunity to shut us all up. You know, go. You should, if you believe in it, you should buy, you know, put in $5,000 yeah. of stuff right now. Okay. Put your urine suit. Sue, can we have a check baby. for five? I think, why are, what is with you guys? Every time I come up with one of my great mm -hmm. insights, I just, there's a worse lack of uh, belief and faith. You know, my, my biggest failure in the stock market is when in 19, early 90s, I bought yeah. $3,000 worth of Apple stock at $14 a share. Right, and you and sold it at the wrong time. I, well, I I made ten thousand dollars profit on it, and I sold it. And of course, if I had kept that, I would have had something like four hundred thousand dollars. You yeah. wouldn't be here with us for half a million dollars. You'd be on a yacht with Diddy. That's when everyone was laughing at you know. I think Steve Jobs just before he came back, or right when he came back, maybe I forgot when the first. Oh, <clears throat> Uh, I'm invested in, heavily in Trump weed, uh, Renee, on the open market that's selling on the Dow. Uh, it's under the under uh, under the moniker DJTP, Donald John Trump Pot. So fantastic, Renee. Um, anyway, this is it's, it's, it's exciting uh, at the appellate court in New York. Great news there. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, the judge ruled that the appeal can go 
against the troubles that is happening with Fani, Fani in Georgia. Uh, so already they removed one. The wisdom of Solomon is somewhat lacking. So they well, you didn't bring up the court, the the, yeah. the jury selection that starts yeah. April fifteenth. That trial is yeah. happening. Rachel, yeah. I'm waiting for the statement of a hundred shares of True Social. <clears throat> All right, I'm we're going to sit here like this. Okay, hold on. Let me go buy some. Just a sec. I got to go buy some now. Uh, Massey, carry on while I buy some True Social shares. Actually, <clears throat> I just got notice that the Women in Vinyl book is up for sale now. This is the. I'm going to order this. It's up plus 56 today. Oh, it'll be up for a while. Definitely. Jeez, it'll holy be up for a while. Wow. This is a bad time to buy. I got to wait hey, for a drop of it. Now, now, Rachel. You want to buy yeah. I? Rachel, when your shares hit rock bottom, I'll trade you for them for a few Richard Simmons wedding to the oldies records. Oh, yeah. Well, there's keep in mind, there's those Earl Clues in the mix there, Rob. Uh, now you, that you have a million-dollar record collection, Mazzy, you can get in there. Uh, can you trade Trump coins for true social stock? Possibly, Joey. Possibly. I'm all excited. I'm just happy. Everything's kind of going our way right now. Um, folks, there is an excitement that's happening. I finally got, and I know there's a lot of Led Zeppelin fans out there. We got Led Zeppelin, the Yellow Zap. There's a bootleg. This is an unofficial release, as so-called. And then you go, look at this beautiful yellow. Now, what's, on, yellow. what's on that bootleg? What isn't on this bootleg? This bootleg. Where, 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 where does the stuff come from? Are they it's a live LA show? Oh. Whiskey at Go Go. You ever been there, Rob? Yes. What did you think of the venue? It's much smaller than you think it is. Yeah. Yes, come on in, concert buddy. You've been under the gun by so many critics. It's just ridiculous. Me be one of them. Rob, you are not a critic of... You're not. You're, you're a pro concert buddy. You're forgetting you're, who you're at war with. Anyway, there's a hex of a lot of excitement. Um, boy, it's, we're going to get concert buddy up. So we'll see what's happening with his channel, with the podcast, what's been going on. And Brad Teal speaks for so many ways. Says, actually, I am pro concert buddy. I am too. I love Chance. Yeah. What I do you like about Chance? Like, what are Chance is, a, is a, just a really good guy. And yes. um, yeah, he's. I met him. He's a good guy. Um, he's not as tall as I thought he would be in person. Yeah. But he's a good. He's not like uh, Rob. Well, Rob is always taller than you think he's going to be. Yeah. But the thing is, Chance is powerfully built. Like he's right. Yeah, he's at, he could. You know, I bet you. He, did you play football, Chance? Chance. He'd be. He'd be also be good at rugby as a hooker. That position. That hooker? Rob, do you know much about rugby, the hooker? Because I feel Chance to be a great hooker. <laughs> it sounds like a, a horror movie, Rachel. Well, it's just what it is. It's uh, uh, sometimes rugby can be tough. Women in vinyl, Massey, is something happening with the women in vinyl? Well, we yeah. don't have time for the that. The Women right in now. Vinyl Organization, which is a great nonprofit oh. uh, organization, yeah. has a book. I'll showcase it. I'm actually ordering right. it now. I'm, I'm not getting it free. I'm supporting yes. the organization. Women in vinyl. So um, it's a $56 book. It's a big square book. Profile. It, it's, yeah. I now, even though I'm not a real girl, Massey, you have supported me so wonderfully with my feminine wiles and my love of music, and you've provided certain albums mm -hmm. for my collection. And Chance Concert Buddy, even yeah. you, with your kindness towards the delicate sex, mm. uh, you have gifted kindly uh, into our own collection. We've got even The Cooker, which is one of the big albums of all time. That was, it was a Sidewinder. Was, yeah, the Sidewinder. Sidewinder, yeah, yeah. The, 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 cook, the, the Cooker is for next year. I got I to say right, what that's next year. We're going to get The Cooker Scoozy. Rob, do you prefer the kicker, the cooker, or the hooker? <laughs> yes. it, 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 it depends where I'm going. Many in the VC would make fine hookers. Thank you, Robert. Anyway, Jens, how's the no, thing wait, wait. going? Like Rachel was saying uh -oh. with Mazzy earlier, yes. give me your top five VC hookers. Top mm. five VC hookers, mm. holy smokes. That's, That's crazy talk. Okay, Jens, what's going on with the channel? How are things going? I mean, we're, we're, we're doing good. I'm, I'm amassing more fans, as you can see All by right. my new name, Concert Butt Buddy. 
which the venerable Arnie Zanzibar gave me. I, I took it as a badge of Why honor. Why would that. Arnie do that? Arnie never seemed the type. He seemed like a first well, responder. Well, Rachel, and... it's funny you say that because Arnie is definitely not my type, but he he is constantly just oh, and, and sending me male attractive Okay, well, hold on. We got to get you a summer tip. That dude loves middle-aged white dudes. This really is sponsor, buddy. Please He's, consider subscribing. Uh, uh, a good friend of the channel. Yeah, go ahead. Arnie Zanzibar's got a type. He really does. A hole in a heartbeat, and then his type? I thought that was Arnie's type. No. He likes shaking down um, perps for their money, yes. and he likes middle-aged white dudes. Holy smokes. Well, I didn't it. think I graduated to middle age, but evidently I have. So I think. Uh, Come on, dude. You have, what do you have? Like a 25 year old kid? <laughs> wow. <laughs> His so, kid's not how, old you, how old your kid? He's 18. He's, he's, so he's how come there. Chance, dude, I don't get. I get why people. Come to, right, dude. Oh, Own I, it, I, live I, it, I, love it. Now I understand why people attack Rob. I'm tempted myself, but uh, and I, and and I don't really don't understand why they go after Maz either. But you especially, mm. it's always it's befuddled me. Why the hell me? I get why they come after you. I do not get why they would not go after you, Rev. No one's going after you. You are loved. Just be your beautiful self. Be your best you. Rachel, that's a great question. And I'm not. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I've done of late to amass the following. I have amassed. So I, here, here's my resume. I've got Arnie yeah. Zanzibar now labeling me as concert butt buddy. We we actually we actually had a party at the house to celebrate yeah. that one because that was a coming of age moment for me and YouTube Arnie, and the vinyl community. Arnie, if you're out there, why would you're a first responder? Hey, like, uh, you're hold on. a hero. Uh, hold on. So uh, Chance, could you picture Arnie in front of a whiteboard? Just writing down nicknames for you. Well, it's taken Arnie a while to come up with Butt Buddy, which I was I was I was curious who would come up with that one first. And Arnie won won the prize. But well, but it's it's no it's no surprise because Arnie actually has a history of being a, a carnival worker. I don't know if you guys knew this, but he was actually born in a carnival. His his mother was the bearded lady and his father was Jebediah. They worked at Worth Circus in Australia. His father was Jebediah, the hot dog eating champion. Oh, and they bred together. Oh, wait, wait. I, he's I'm on the line. Before. This is where he researches some of his worst critics. Chance well, not, hey, I, I want to give a shout out. Hang on, Rachel. A quick shout out to yeah. Milton Burrell's Giant Johnson, who is definitely not Arnie Zanzibar. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see he threw my last name in the chat, and I think that's a no-no because -no, Mario Stark yeah. said that's a big no-no. That's now, I'm, now I'm featured. I'm featured in the Mario Stark videos, which has always been a, a oh, goal no. and an so achievement. Chance, you're bringing drama back to the. I thought, I thought that day was driving the rumble. You but can. I mean, you can. Rumble. I just, you know. No, these what are just facts. Rumble? These are just facts. It, this is my fan club. Did Mario you, did Stark, they hit, are, have you been Zanzibar, Fred Dobbs. Have, have you been hit lately, Chance? Row out there. Have you been? Uh, Hit lately on these uh, drama videos. I, I don't. Well, there there is the fellow from Omaha who I haven't really talked about, but I hear he talks about me every week, which is which is kind of curious. That? What's going on? That's I don't know. Again, hard. maybe he's part of that Arnie Zanzibar male attraction thing. Maybe he's just the, the, the attraction. Uh -oh, that's we too got much a TikTok. You're getting now. I know why you're getting attacked. Even Bip Bop Boom has joined the attack. <laughs> You're disparaging the card. Listen, if I lose John Bip Bop Boom, I'm out of here because yeah, there's no hope. There is no absolutely hope. no hope. The vinyl community, this is Rob Walker, an interesting take. He says the vinyl community is perceived, as conceived, as visualized, doesn't actually exist. It's simply a figment of imagination, which is crazy. Uh, okay. Also, in other news, is Darren Crawford's interview with the Genesis dude, Tony Banks, ever going to see the light of day? Hopefully, he learns something from Mazzy's Sasha Berliner interview. I suspect they'll be very similar in tone, in tenor. Right. Now, there, yes, Rob. I think he did only there's an audio always, video, though, right? There's always a line that says subject to artist approval. You have to submit the interview. Okay, Chris to... asked a question. So many are asking themselves these days. Chance, was there any indication that at all when you were bringing Puppy Vinyl into the VC that he might go, in a word, nuts? I mean, how do I answer this one delicately? First yeah. of all, I want to give a real credit where credit's due. Davy Strange name is the one who discovered William because that's yeah. where I discovered him. He was featured yeah. in a Davy Strange name epic video, right. and uh, you know during the course of the interview because I'm a timid interviewer, but yeah. 
during the course of that, that that powerful that powerful interview where I was shaking at the knees talking to William the Flipper. Yeah. Um, I kind of got a couple cues that maybe you know Williams Things had a couple might be of going south of the border. Well, hold, well, on, hold on, chance. Can I intervene here? Okay, please, so please. there's an invention. Baby Strange Name has like five subs. So it's not like there's a driving force in the in, in the VC. You have more than five subs. Not many. I'm a small so channel. Think, I'm a small I channel. I think really the blame is at your feet, not it. All right, fair enough. Listen, I will own it if 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 on my VC resume, uh, bringing William the Flipper to the masses, I, I, I'll own it. You know, we all make mistakes. And wow, well, uh, the I comment that for coming fast and furious has the vinyl community. This is a question mm -hmm. where of self introspection, self evaluation for all of us. Has mm -hmm. the VC become a gated community? And also this, and I love this cover. This is so sweet. Marcus Thompson writes. Speaking of the Mazzy interview, my favorite part was when Norman invited Sasha for another chat in the future. Glad to see our kid finally getting over Coffee Julie and the vinyl and the archivist. The real archivist, absolutely beautiful women, both of them. And Massey, you're popular. Chicks dig you. We and talked about your well, we ability talked, to talked, bring young girls into your We talked first because we're, we're both native San Franciscans and, and she lives in New York now, but work but is recording now between a new album between New York and LA. Yeah. But we talked about San Francisco and then yeah. she's actually any of you New Yorkers, she's playing uh doing a, a few nights again at Smalls in New York uh, in a week or two. Or, or yeah, they stream, they stream okay. online. I got to do a family shout out. You know, it's like that when you're, Chance gets this all the time on his oh, show. Uh, big channels, we get uh -huh. this. My daughter uh -huh. got the game ball last night. She batted four for four and scored four runs in her T ball game. Great job, Journey Lynn. We love you, Journey Lynn. Congratulations, dear. Wonderful, wonderful. You are the best. And what well does ha this have to do with Trump's IPO? <laughs> hold on, hold on one second. Yeah. We well, they both to... knocked it out of the park, Massey. That she's a member of Children for Trump, Trump Massey. She, she's on. a president. <laughs> can, Rachel, can we go back to attacking Chance? Because I yeah. feel like I'm all right. right. I would yeah. never attack Chance. Not since, not since the guy who invented L L what was that? Larestra, that that ingredient that they tried in potato right. chips that caused anal leakage. Has oh, anyone no. unleashed something on society that is so dreaded? Thank you, Chad. I, I would like to respond to that, uh, yeah. particularly when, when my name is associated with anal leakage. Uh, yeah. I think that it's that's a high charge. It's a high it's crime and misdemeanor where I'm from, and no one uh, likes it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take that back to a uh, to a social panel to evaluate hey, my response. Jeff, did you know Buzzy Linhart? Je Buzzy, Buzzy lived in Berkeley, and uh, my friend Larry, who late friend Larry, was a Got, got yeah, became but, friends and helped Buzzy out while he was sick. But he came to our office once and we jammed with uh, I played guitar, Larry played drums, and the what did Buzzy play? And, and Massey, why are all your friends like Buzzy's and Dizzy? No, but Buzzy is not a friend, Buzzy yeah. Linhart. Um, yeah. did, did anybody ever see the movie? Um, the No Mobile YouTube. Yeah, no, he does. Uh, Alice was was she in that one? What is it, what, not, what is it called? The Groove Tube. Walter Brennan. Remember the Groove Tube. Walter Brennan, fantastic. You remember the Groove Tube? Wax would remember the Groove Tube. Oh, it was one yeah. of the. It was actually probably the first skit feature film. Yeah, like, and like you at the very it. beginning, this guy's running naked, and and that's Buzzy Linhart. But he was a vibraphonist, and as well yeah. as other instruments, he had some albums which. I'm not a huge fan of his mu his records, but he plays vibes on Electric yeah. Ladyland, Jimi Hendrix album, uh, and he's been on a bunch of albums. So, uh, yeah. Now, Chance, what's happening with the channel? Who's next on the podcast? Who? What? What yeah. name are you bringing? Who else are you gonna send us the next? <laughs> uh, I've got a couple we're we're talking through. We have to set up uh, some time, but. Uh... You've, now, got, you've know, had some great guests, and oh, Rob, go ahead. Well, if you know, Sue and Rachel are brainstorming to come up with a vetting process so we don't get goofballs here. Yeah. What's your? What are style? the criteria? Can you help me with what's the criteria? Your, Maybe I need to employ criteria? the criteria. Whoa. Yes, Rachel. Yeah. Uh, the interviews ahead. Just uh, yeah, I yeah, they up must right breathe. Now. What? What's your five things? They must breathe oxygen. They have to see the reflection in the mirror. Jesus. 
Well, that cuts out the vampire crowd. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, and also paying taxes. I mean, I, I that's kind of a gray area if they pay their taxes or not. Okay, what do you think about a comment like this, Rob? When you get Louis saying, they "I feel the vetting process like three can't. years out." They can't be a Carney, right? That's one of them. Damn hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Arnie. Sorry, Carney, Arnie. Sorry, bud. Jesus. You can go, you can go back to uh, you know. Carnies. Is, is it true, Rachel? Is Arnie a cop? I saw a Wyoming Dave Arnie said that to me earlier. The first at least he says he is. I assume that. Why would anybody lie about yeah. that? I mean, they'll literally give certification for weapons in Australia well, to anybody on. if they're giving Chance, it to Arnie Zanzibar. Chance, I have two words to say to you. Uh oh. Paul Blart. Paul Blart, call <laughs> my mall cop. All right, well, let's take a look here. What do we got, Bussy? This here? is an EP. This is an EP that the Beetle Fest. Uh, Paid for in 1982. You can see, yeah. uh, there we go. Uh, 1982, Buzzy Lynn Hart, 1982. It's with, look, and the Beetle Fest paid for it. And you know who's on it? Buzzy Lynn Hart, Lawrence Juber, Nikki Hopkins, Denny Sewell, Tim Bogert, uh, the Chambers Brothers, and then uh, Pat Rizzo, Alfred Johnson, and Chris Houston. But, um, it's kind of interesting. I'm not a huge fan, but um, he was at Beetle Fest for a few years, and they did this record. I think it's on red vinyl, maybe. Yeah, it's an EP. So, Carol Marr Records is basically a one-off. Carol and Mark Lapidus, who produced the Beetle Fest, what it's called now, the fans yeah. of Beatles. So, uh, Jeff, there we go. Wow. It looks like the Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Yeah. You got really sick and you lived in Berkeley for years. Hold on. And... Hold on. That's the fifth one. You do not look like Buffalo Bill from Sons of the Land. Holy crap. Are you are you people following uh the uh Rice Patties Jr. on what's called the Instagram? <laughs> there yeah. is there is something going on. Apparently Rachel. we've got commissary information. Genius genius yeah. uh, a future thinker. Oh, oh, Patrick's, Patrick's oh, stirring up shit. Oh, oh, what's happened? Uh, so, let's so, get Pat, to the so Patrick, I'm going to I'm going to meet this one head on. Uh oh, uh, vinyl. Richie blocked me once on his uh, presentation. What? He claimed he claimed he didn't, but he did. And so then I and of course, I'm a counter puncher, Rachel. I'm you retaliated. I had I had to block him back, but we found a way. That's part of the reason he's growing out that delicious head of lettuce right now. He's growing out his hair. As a sign of solidarity, since I can't grow anymore on my head, yeah. um, but that, that it, we're, we we found an armistice, and the armistice is we just don't acknowledge that we blocked each other at this point. Oh my God! Um, I am shocked, Rob. Did you see it coming? Well, he hates my guts, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so you so you believe that I can't believe why would he block you? Why would you block him? Why would anybody what the hell? Vinyl Richie, what the hell? Explain front and center. Hey what Rachel, you know what one of my favorite hobbies is of late is when I go on a video and yeah. people people say negative things about me, and then there's that person who says something nice and then yeah. I feel terrible for them because they're yeah. literally in the snake pit. Oh, oh it's toast time. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. Toast time. and egg. I got a boiled egg. Here's, here's, yeah, 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 yeah. Rachel, are you choking Sue? The Heimlich, please. Yeah, I, yeah. Hold on. I, uh, when Rachel eats, it's almost like the cookie monster. But I, I, think, I think she's choking because she's just bought 100 shares of stock. I'm excited. <laughs> I buy high as That's what's okay, gonna here happen. we go. It that's gonna, that's what's going to happen to everyone who buys that stock. Mazzy, you can be all liberal but hurt, but I'm telling you, the wonderful John O'J trap. The first yeah. day of the IPO, it's going gangbusters. Yeah, I know of course it is. It. I know Rob Rachel, is I've, I've, I know I've seen a lot of tech stocks that yes. uh, that I know people invested in that yes. started out. Dogs.com didn't work out. Wait, That's Rachel, right. did you say yeah. gangbusters or gangbang busters? Yeah. There's Rob. a lot of stocks that are overvalued that start high. And then what happens is a lot of initial investors make some good money and then people jump in later and they get fucked. People who can't afford to lose the money, you know, seriously. I mean, it's not just with this stock. It's you got to. Skyler, you got to wrench. You can promote yourself. Go ahead. Oh, hey, hey, Rachel, I did have a question. So if yeah. I log in with my, my personal account, can I get a wrench? 
I just want to ask because I don't want to show up and show my legal name. I'll give, it, you a rent. Know, I'll give okay. you a rent if you want one, but you got to tell me it's me, Chance. Oh, go okay. I mean, I would hope it's my given name, but you know, it's. I don't. Would that be doxing myself, Rob? Is that hey, doxing hey, myself if I give my own last name? Yes. Yeah. Hey, buy GameStop. Buy GameStop. Okay. Chance and Mrs. Buttersworth. GameStop. GameStop stock. It's actually, it's actually Chance Buttersworth. I hate it. I hate it. I hate to come clean in this way, but since Milton Burrow's Giant Johnson outed me earlier, I think that's imperative that I get in front of this one. So yes. Mm hmm. I think you're doing so good. You're so nice. I don't know why anybody would shit on you or call trouble. Well, Jerry, Rachel, Rachel, I, Rachel, I do have an issue. So, so good. Good old Marius has been featuring me of late, and that's his business. It's his has channel. He? But he put my face on Nicole Eggert's body, and if he had a, if he had just only done Pamela Anderson or Carmen uh -huh. Electra, but he chose Nicole Eggert to. Who put, is that? I don't even know who that is. Uh, Mazzy, you don't want to look. She she was she she was she was the second worst Baywatch babe behind mm -hmm. Alexandra Paul. Oh, okay. I think I think if we did a poll right now, I think it would it would chart out. Well, uh, you Hang know out, right. they Carmen, both were kind of, they, both they both were hot. They were hot. You know, I will say I will say if you like that sort of this sort of movie, the new Roadhouse is kind of entertaining. So I, that's another reason I came up. I did watch it, and to be it. honest. Yeah, it was it, it was it, it, as its own movie. Not bad. It, it, yeah. If it's trying to I mean, even like the little like the double deuce candy store in the beginning, yeah. like I appreciate little Easter eggs like that. The I fight scenes were OK. Conor McGregor was OK. It was it, it's OK, I think, is the review. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. A little panel. Hey, Johnny, how are you, sir? Not bad. How are you? Good. John, um, Johnny, I'm Rachel? under attack. That's how I am. <laughs> oh, I'm right behind you. I'm I'm. <laughs> Right behind but you, there. Johnny, are you getting attacked? <laughs> no, but I'm, I I like Chance, so I'm I'm behind Chance. So I'm oh, Johnny, don't do that. Yeah, You're yeah. going to be featured in parody videos by cartoon makers. The cartoon ah, maker will cares? come for you. It, it's just a parody. I don't care. Uh, as long as they make me handsome in the parody, that's all that counts. <laughs> hey, uh, Rachel. Um, ahead, yesterday Johnny. was kind of unusual because because your show wasn't on, so I just like I was kind of like ah, in disarray type thing. But Rhonda was looking for some papers that we needed for something. And she came across something that she gave me like over 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. And and I was so in so happy that and I'm so I'm surprised it didn't like break because we moved a lot, so it didn't break. But I'll show you. Oh, nice. Beatles play. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's uh, from the uh, Bradford Exchange. There's yeah. a number on it. A number behind it. It's a 25th anniversary Sergeant they did Pepper. Star Trek too, Johnny. You, you can get about thirteen dollars for that on eBay now. <laughs> no, they're selling it for like hundred dollars. Some people want hundred dollars. How dare you tell this man to sell this but, priceless heirloom, as he bastard? But, wow. the, the thing is, is why, Actually, why I wouldn't sell it anyway. You, it is because... a better investment than Trump stock. So okay, we got a lot of people promoting. We need to promote everybody. Okay, first of all, Johnny, this for you and me. In which a Canadian city has produced the greatest musical talent? Which Canadian city has produced the, the greatest? Oh, well, who wow. is our um, greatest, right? Well, Winnipeg's we have, we have got lots. Too. Winnipeg's big, uh, Toronto's the, big. The, the, yeah, uh, the, 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 the guess who from Saskatoon. Winnipeg, Toronto? Saskatoon, um, Joni Mitchell, Regina, or whatever. Toronto, Gordon Lightfoot, and um, Montreal, Victoria, uh, yeah, nice. Marge, uh, Cohen, Leonard uh -huh. Cohen. Vancouver has got a lot. Vancouver, yeah. So lots everywhere. So really, across the, probably of. Toronto because it's the biggest. Glenn Gould, yeah. great classical. I would go with Toronto because just so many Montreal for the French artists. But Wait, I, I, got, I got a Canada question as a Yankee. Go where does where where is Alan Thick rank in the greatest Canadians list? The great Alan Thick. He's a he was a very proud hmm. to be a Canadian. Yeah, We're yeah. proud of him because he made it in the U.S. Always we're always proud up here. We're like a small town. We're like a little town in Nebraska next to some kid with Omaha. some talent. Yeah. And we're so the whole country. And then when any of us done good, especially in the big show, it's like being in the little league or the minors. And then you go to the show. And when you're in the show, you go, oh my God, Billy's made the show. Or officer and a gentleman. You're all in the factory working, and then Richard Gere comes and picks you up. Comes in those lights. And his Gere, come on, baby. We're going downtown. Oh, what's happening, Sue? Jose wants to know. 
Oh, Haldane needs a link. Uh, see, see, Johnny shows up, and now everybody wants to jump on Johnny, in. Johnny, yeah, 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 right. Come yeah, on. Johnny hey. knows that it's a safe environment. <laughs> hey, I will say, so peak Alan Thick. just to follow up on this, is it Growing Pains, or is it when he hosted the Crystal Light Aerobic Championships in 1986? Actually, actually oh, ahead, Chance, unfortunately, it's stuck in my brain. He was brought to the U.S. to host a late-night talk show on Fox or something. Yeah, that's oh, right. That, yeah. It only ran like a year. It was called Thick of the Night. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But, you know, he but he wrote a lot of theme songs to TV shows. Yes, before. I do know that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, in terms of the great pantheon, is he one of our greatest? But he seems like everybody liked him, seemed like a nice guy, did well for himself. He, he there. played I mean, the mother sport, he played hockey. He was yeah. very proud to be a hockey yeah, player. Yeah, he was like all that, like Alan, like uh, the other guy, Alex Trebek, right? Some mm -hmm. of our best Canadians are the ones that go down to America and do so well in the States that they, everybody forgets they're Canadian. Bill Shatner, mm -hmm. the captain of the mm -hmm. goddamn oh my Enterprise. God. Is Canadian. Big, big big bong bill. Oh man. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so we uh, we own the captain of the enterprise, Mary Pickford, America's sweetheart, born and raised in Toronto, Canada. What are you gonna do? I mean, Canadian. Uh, we got uh Metro Goldwyn Mayor Sam Goldwyn. It was uh I think Samuel Goldwyn, uh, or it may be Louis B. Mayor. I think it's Louis B. Mayor okay, is Mayor. from is from Newfoundland of all places. It comes in California. Uh, Matt Senate, Max Senate, remember with the Keystone Cops and all that and the comedy, the early Hollywood director, Canadian. Oh, Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford has done so many great movies, also Canadian. Donald Walter Sutherland? Pitt, Walter Donald Pitt Sutherland? Canadian. Donald Sutherland. Yeah, hold Canadian. on. Can I help all of you right now? It'd be more right. beneficial to us yes. for you to name all the Canadian serial killers. Because I'm Ooh. all right, we we got well, we don't have we have one, I, and I no one knows his name. We know him as the pig farmer, he's good enough not to get caught, and he may be not a, a man, it could be a woman, right? Like, I thought that's jumping the conclusion. Well, it's uh, we want to be, you know, uh, what is that called? That, that thing? <laughs> oh, Louie. <laughs> oh, well, Louis, stop other, it. Yeah. yeah, like we have, we don't forget, we have Martin Short, we have uh. Eugene Levy, we have um oh, come on, comedy John Candy. Comedy John Candy. Yeah. I'm, wa I'm waiting on the, the greatest one of all, Mazzy. Help them out. The greatest Canadian comedian. Come on, Mazzy, you'll get this one. Uh, Howie Mandel. Wasn't uh, Fred whatever. wasn't Fred Travelina Canadian, I think? Fred Travelina? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But yeah, Rich Little, definitely, right? Rich Little. Rich Little be up there. What about yeah. what about James Carey? Jim Carey. He's oh, yeah. the Jim gift Carey. of America. Mm -hmm. But this is what happens. Like some of our stars, stars go down stateside yep. and they become so satia. Chris Plummer, uh, who is in uh, Mary what, what My Fair Lady or whatever, or yeah. Yeah. Donald yeah. Sutherland. Yeah. 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 Sound of music. Yeah. Donald yeah. Sutherland. Yeah, Donald Sutherland's great mass, right? Harry Riles got the comment of the day right there. Yeah, we, we Leslie Nielsen, of course. Joe Flaherty. Joe Flaherty's no, American. He was he, Flaherty uh, he's from Pittsburgh or something. Like oh, yeah, he's Philadelphia, I think. Mm. Anyway, Flaher Flaherty's American. Andrea Martin is American. Hola, Jose. O'Hara is Norm McDonald, freaking legend. So, so, so side that. note, I'd like our I'd like our friend in Omaha to take notes. This is how you fill time on a live stream: is you actually have a question and engages <laughs> the guests. You don't yeah, need to get a, a wig. Yeah. You don't need hey. to do a bad impression. You don't need to call me a used car salesman. You can call yeah. me anything you want, William, but don't call me broke, pal. Well, hold on. Want to or late for dinner, yeah, I have a question for you. Please. I think your communication would be better if you screeched in a high pitched tone. And yeah, that's, and that's, and that's, that's branding. He's, he's got that one on lock. My man's another got that great uh, Canadian. We just had uh, God. It was Ben uh, Thumbfinger was down. He met him. Uh, Cheech Marin and Tommy Chong. Tommy, Tommy Chong. Chong. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, yeah. Cheech. Yeah. Chong. So you know, you know, there's a lot. We got a lot of impact. A lot of our Canadian people went down to good. Lord, I think, I, think either. I think one of my favorites. I think would be John Candy. My favorite. Say, I think. Come on up, good doctor. But Seth, Seth Rogen Robert. is Canadian. Anyway, so there's a Nathan lot. Nathan Fielder is Canadian. Uh, okay, now for you uh, in El Gerador, uh, Jose, who are the great El Gerardorian? Uh, like I think Fernando Lamas obviously Ooh. would be one of the great 
Charo. Yeah, Charo. Charo would be He's, yes. Puerto Rican is it? Yes. yes you're right, Rob, you're it's right. all Rob, in that Rob, part. No, Rob, Latin America is one piece of country. Don't no, 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 no. Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. So it's just it in your butt all. It's yeah. not Rob, a Rob. Puerto Rico is not an island. It's uh, it's right next to yeah. China and uh, and Brazil. <laughs> Hey, if there's one thing Jose knows, it's Rodney Dangerfield records and maps. So I take whatever Jose yeah. says. Didn't, okay. didn't Mexico Skyler, have um Skyler if you Skyler's a former Marine. Oh, you want to come up and talk of, about oh. your book or whatever you do? Oh, we got no, he's been in before he's been already advanced and he hasn't been on screen before though. He hasn't been on screen, but he's been in Pia Gallery. Okay, well, we'll talk to you after the show. Apparently, we got a new policy. My producer. Yeah, what is the new policy? Because you know, when I invite we friends to come people. here, and they... yeah, I can't just bring people up on camera right away. They got to go in through a preview with me. Oh, and then hold we'll on. on a... I actually know one of the policies is you can't have been interviewed by concert buddy. Okay. <laughs> Doctor Robert, you're very tiny down at the bottom. It's just it to be your head. Okay. Right. <laughs> there Let me reach center. All right. Much like me, Dr. Robert and I both have make careful uh, care of our hair before each performance. <laughs> make sure it's all happening. Welcome Rachel, to the show. You know, it, yeah, it looks, yeah, yeah. One, one looks in the mirror and sees that, you know, you look good. But uh, when you come here, you look like shit. So it's uh, wonderful. Jose, Jose, I do have a question. What do you think about this yeah. new channel? It's an emerging channel in the vinyl community. Milton Burrell's Giant Johnson. Are you familiar with the what? work of Milton Burrell's <laughs> Milton Burrell, Giant Johnson? Uh, I, uh, Johnson. Oh, God. I, I think it's when I was a kid. That was like the big channel on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Balding asks, what's the best live music venue in Canada? Well, there's a couple that come to mind. Uh, the, the big one is the uh, Vincent Massey, Massey, Massey uh, Hall. Massey Hall. That for the big ones in yeah. Toronto. Uh, oh, the, oh Ma uh, Massey Hall from uh, the great the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, the Queen Elizabeth Man. Theater in Vancouver is Massey, not Massey. Yeah. <laughs> the Massey uh, Hall. Massey. Uh, who's the worst Canadian? Justin <laughs> Trudeau. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Rachel Dean has what? a taste. Why, why is why is Americans always like so keen on people pronouncing shit right, and then you say gracias, like it? You're taking uh, hey, it hey, 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 listen, yeah. listen, Josie, don't get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, well, he's a German anyway. Don't let him fool you. He knows. He knows the most. Okay, Jason. Um, I think I think the if you call it a well, it's a it was a concert. The, I think the biggest main event concert that I've seen. Was during the SARS thing that we had in in yeah. Downsview Park. There had the Rolling Stones, the Guess Who, like the big top names. Playing Not live piece the, in Toronto. At the uh, Squire Walker presents live piece in Toronto. Give peace a chance. Give man. peace a chance. Yeah. Bobby Gas was there. Bobby Gas was there. Huh. Yeah, it was a big time, huge. Oh. Downsview. Maple Leaf Gardens. Uh, top five Canadians. Number five, Justin mm. Trudeau. Number four, Tim Morton. <laughs> number you... three, Little Ike from South Park. <laughs> Two, Red Green. And number one, Scoozies goes to surprise. Number one, great Canadian. Congratulations. So, Congratulations. How, so you, did much, you did it. You did it. You did it. How much of the budget did Susie release for the stock buy? <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, we're going all in and out. It's big news. Of course, obviously, it's incredible. It's we want to thank the uh, appellate court in New York. Incredible decision making. Fantastic. We want to congratulate the 45th president of the United States, Donald John Trump, on this incredible initial public offering uh, uh, for the uh, True Social uh, DJT on your stock exchange, blowing the doors off NASDAQ. It, the stocks are up, up, up. And the future is bright. I can. I better gotta wear sunglasses. The future is so bright for my Trumpy bear right now. And Harry, of course, the Harry, that was so ninety minutes ago. Going full speed ahead. <laughs> Things are going great. Yeah, we talked. We talked about uh, Baltimore. Yeah. That tragedy about an hour ago. Horrible. Yeah, yeah. Horrible. we covered Baltimore. Yeah. Trouble. Horrible. What happened in Baltimore Bridge? 
a cargo ship hit a pylon the entire the main bridge of the city collapsed there's yes. video of it. the entire oh. fucking seven luckily well luckily it was one or two in the morning <laughs> no seven people are missing but if that was during the day you know it would have been hundreds or thousands. Maz, is there any truth to the rumor that the the uh, the ship captain was watching the uh, pumping vinyl? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Rachel, you know, I was... you know me. You got one person you know on your social. I got a great true social account. Please don't follow me there. No, I, I try to yes. I try to log into Truth Social, and they started asking me my zodiac sign and and sell me yeah. rocks. And I was like, fuck yeah. this shit. Yeah, that's what uh, they'll uh, do. Uh, uh, but they've been losing yeah. about twelve thousand. Uh, uh, members or whatever uh, a month people yeah, are because people shedding. forget their fucking passwords you yeah, it happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. hang on a second you're saying when you have over seven accounts and you start forgetting passwords that sounds like the sixth beetle i think that was his move i gotta go to so, rob the wax well, on this one you, rob, this is a why do you thought it was the sixth thing. beetle not the fifth one okay. <laughs> hold on i love this comment oh, thank oh, you steven oh. <laughs> Rachel, oh, Rachel, oh, you're looking hell? much healthier today than you did yesterday. Glad you're able to shred that withering ball sack look and turn things around. That is encouraging. <laughs> why, why, Steven's knee? Instead of doing this, he's doing the whole fucking. Thank game. you, Steven. I, wow. Uh, uh oh, that's uh, he, he's covering a scar on his face. Uh, the coaster boring. Travel there. Different venues, so Massey, best uh, venue in San Francisco. We've asked you before, but there's so many hollow. Well, you know, I think the overall the, the, winter, over, Cow Palace, the, the overall one is the Fillmore. Um now. Mm -hmm. Fillmore um, West. No, no. There's two okay. That's confusion. It opened up as the Fillmore, yeah, which um was an old ballroom on Fillmore and Geary. It, the, the neighborhood was dicey then. It was next to a synagogue. The synagogue ended up moving. Yeah. Bill Graham closes it, takes over the carousel ballroom on Van Ness and Market, and calls it the Fillmore West. So the Fillmore and the Fillmore West are oh, both San Francisco venues, but they but he moved the venue and called it the Fillmore West. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually Winterland was great, but not. I mean, it was a different. It had a different vibe because it was a big, like a hockey or an. Um, an ice show rink type of place. Hmm. I thought it was Fillmore West relative to Fillmore East in New York City, no? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why the, it was West. The, the original Fillmore, which is called the Fillmore. Yeah, right? yeah right, sure. After right. a couple yeah. years, he closes it, opens the Fillmore West because he had to move locations. Yeah. Right. Then he opened the Fillmore East. The Fillmore East it only lasted, what, three years in New York, I think, or four, maybe. Hey, uh, speaking of Fillmore, this is a question for Chance. Yeah. How do you fill three and a half hours of streaming? Just you, you mean without a, a wig and a bad impersonation and then coming on screen <laughs> as a new character and yelling no, I, at people and I, then coming off as another character? Characters, I, I, I think is the short that, answer. Characters. I, I try to watch that stream and it was horrible because he was so fucking slow reading the comments. <laughs> 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 then he would like read the whole fucking thing and then go to the next one. It was just like get the fuck on with hey, it, man. Hey, hey, Josie, I smell stardom for you on the next video. <laughs> hey, I, I will say uh, when my name came up at the end, someone sent this to me that Ruth Ann was Ruth Ann asked a question. It's a nice question. She's like, I thought Chance was a good guy, and uh, William kind of pontificated. And then he equated me to a used car salesman. So I didn't know. Do, do I do I give off that vibe? Because maybe I picked the wrong career choice, you know. Should now, I be that a used car salesman? now that you mentioned it, you said if I came up on your stream for an interview, you give me up free undercoating. Well, hey, John, <laughs> let me answer John. John, that, that synagogue uh, was a temple beautiful. And um, that temple at Jim Jones, People's Temple, was yeah. the old Sheriff Israel or Beth Israel synagogue. <laughs> And they sold you know, it. They merged with my Reform Temple on Brotherhood Way across town, and they they sold the building. And that was People's <laughs> Temple. Then it was Temple Beautiful. Uh, and then someone was sleeping there, and the Judean people. And they knocked a space heater or a candle over, and it, it burned down yeah. uh, years later. We got. Um, uh, I just want to get, draw your attention, Skylar Saunders. A uh, very nice guy, former Marine. So, obvious, as always, I th always thank our soldiers and uh, first responders, people like that, put themselves online uh, for our collective benefit. 
Uh, but he's got a book going called The Business of Nature, and it's available at this uh, URL. And if it's the kind of thing you might be interested in, folks, head over there and support uh, Skyler and, and his efforts in that regard. I know how difficult it can be. This, uh, this community, of course, we're music-centered and the like, so you, you may not get as much as a, of a draw here as you might in more of a literary venue uh, as opposed to uh, a more music-centric one. But, Skylar, you're welcome here, and uh, I wish you every success with your uh, publication. You subscribe to you, sir. I don't know anything about you, but I'll find out. Yeah, very um, nice guy. Um, yeah. Um, I, I was uh, I was on his channel um, uh, a okay. couple um, days ago. He seems like a nice guy. He does, yeah. Okay. Why yeah. do you say seems? Oh, well, seem, but because I can't say he is because I don't really know him. That he seems. You're saying the guy is you don't like the guy. Oh, I know. That I did. Oh, you're putting words uh, in my mouth. Holy, so this is another great channel. <laughs> nasty Nathaniel. There's nothing nasty about the guy. He's just a super good guy. Nathaniel, I love what you do. You're very entertaining, and uh, you've got a great channel. I don't know my, how many subs the guy's got. 60,000 plus. or some bloody oh, crazy shit. thing. Yeah, he's just bad. It's real it's sad, but not like the rest of us. Rachel, I'm confused. Yeah. This is different than the fabulous nathaniel mars right oh this is a totally different oh. individual thank goodness hey rachel what happened to that cop that came like oh, we no, we have somebody, he was wonderful oh uh, youtube police that was <laughs> that was glenn or great glenn or you know Harry. when he Harry. came up i was like with my hands up against the wall just gary like, was this very thing. Gary was Does, very does he have jurisdiction to arrest a, a, a rent a cop like Arnie Zanzibar? I'm just asking because Arnie, he may need to be brought in. I am sick to death of people criticizing Arnie. Arnie was a good, he just had one guy out of all the people, he only had one guy that he had ever had a problem <laughs> with. Arnie just had one guy. And other than that, that, Arnie is. was a good, he'd shoulder hey, uh, good. Hold on. the thing. Oh, hold on, Rachel. I think I have yeah. solved the problem of Arnie Zanzibar. Now, hang the on. The only way yeah. to handle this is to have Chance interview him. <laughs> well, well hang you're on, worthy of it, Nathaniel. <laughs> and so you got good. a great channel. And keep up the good work, man. Rachel, Please. Rachel, I do have to. So, so Arnie, you know, like a lot of these people, they started out looking for community, and then they found somebody <laughs> they didn't like. <laughs> But Arnie wrote me a love letter, and I featured it at the end of my video over the weekend. That's a cheap yeah. plug if you want to look at that video. I found some really cool records at the end. Shout out to Arnie Zanzibar. This this really moved me. And if I can I get big again because this is, oh, I want I wanted to see I want I need to emote. Yeah. So I'm gonna emote. <laughs> Arnie replied to the account Vilification Soup, which okay. is also Arnie Zanzibar. Oh, are you referring to <laughs> Concert Butt Buddy? The guy yeah. that brings nothing to the table. Yes. Mm. That you, you bring a lot to the table. You bring your beautiful hat. You got a lovely wife. You got kids. You're all grown up and everything. Rachel, please don't dox me. Please don't dox me. No one oh, can know sorry. these facts There's about too me. much of that going on. I have can so I answer, much to hide. Can I, I answer so Richard Riley? I'm a gay single man, all right? Can, can I answer Richard Riley? He says, yeah. I'm looking down today. He must have gotten his taxes done. Yeah. That's not the right question, uh -oh. but um, Richard Riley. Uh, I did get my taxes done, and I owe I owe one hundred and eighty dollars, so I had to pay one hundred and eighty dollars. Holy so we're doing mm. something wrong. We oh, we had no to refund. pay. I had what to pay did we owe? We owe three hundred or something. We had to pay. I, I done oh, I done I all of ours. Um, I done all of ours, and uh, my uh, Rhonda and I are getting got money back, and my daughter didn't. Yeah. So, Johnny, look at this. What do you think of this <clears throat> comment here? Look uh, at this. Okay. okay. You want me to read it? Yeah, read this, John. Okay. Rachel's ghost. The guy on your panel, his name is Jose Moreno Ran. Yeah. Is very handsome. Yes. He is. Yeah, that's true. Yes. What do you think of that? Oh, oh, wait, 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 which, fan base? which one are you talking about? The dog or the man? <laughs> it's talking about Jose. Okay. Uh, Nathaniel, that's very sweet. Jose, you've been growing in your popularity and so many people just love you so much and you're growing and that you've got a large following because of your extremely good looks. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know. look at you, you sweet thing. Hey, Ray, well, Ray, listen, Ray. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, he's gluten-free, yeah. so I don't oh, know. Uh, uh, Rachel, someone, you you got to be careful with that gluten. 
Someone is new to this. Like, like looting around my Whoa. dick. Rob, I got to no. go to Rob right now with this question. This is uh, good. Mr. Great Ball, question. Mr. Balding, if that's your real name. <laughs> Can I call you Ball? Listen, oh my God. this is an absurd construct oh, of a question. It's a great if you're question. stranded on a desert island, yes. you have no electricity. Ah, no you that do that. have electricity no. because of a clever it's use nonsense. of coconuts, bamboo, and vine. I refuse, to, carry a I refuse to it on the grounds of it's not it's yeah. not a thing. It, you know, the, the Brits really take this personally because I did a video last yeah. year about, you know, they have- Wait, that, wait, wait, wait. Can show. we address- can we address AJK's comment he's calling? Can I Robert? finish my uh, comment? No, you can. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hijacking the phone. Like I'm that. out of here. No, Mazzy. You heard Mazzy. Oh, come on oh. now. You sons of oh, bitches. Come on. Don't hurt Mazzy. He's going to the Fillmore <laughs> West. Okay, Mazzy, go ahead. You no, take I'm, your I'm, time. I'm, I'm, I'm well, I was just saying the, the Brits are very sensitive about their BBC series, yeah. uh, radio series, uh, Desert right. Island Disc. Desert Island Disc. I, I did one of my own. Of course, yeah. You, you do things your own way on your channel. They yeah. heads blew up. You broke the rules by bringing box sets and bringing CDs, and you, those aren't the rules. So I did a second one, and I still didn't get it right. So I finally did one. I did a third one, and I played by the rules. But you know, <laughs> they just their heads. Yes, can I, after Mazzy's incredible common contribution, that was good, man. Can, can, can I address AJK's uh, comment that he's calling me ugly? Okay, but first, Mad can you greet our friend from Trans? Well, that's, that's more important, Jose. <laughs> It is. It Wait, is. So I think it's a real person. I'm scouting it right hey, now. Do you want a second? Do you want a second opinion? You're ugly. Oh, oh my God! Um, wow. You know, the doctor hasn't said a word all like all night. <laughs> the show's almost over. The show's there, almost over. There, I'm waiting for. I'm waiting, for, I'm waiting for somebody to say something interesting, and it just hasn't happened. So. Well, maybe maybe oh, Nick Nick Bird, Bird, you're Bird, Bird, Bird. Bird. talk about Hey, that's Steven a great Bird. album. Yeah, found this yesterday. Is that a uh, high voltage? Did you go to high voltage, Doc? This is Doolittle. Is high voltage another Pixies record? No, no high no, voltage. No. Is oh, oh, I went to no, I went to uh, Tomorrow Records, uh, run by Patrick over here in Portland. It's great gotcha. score. Yeah, yeah, definitely go there. Uh, okay. Listen, oh, yeah. if, if you were on a desert island with oh, Schnee, yeah. he would bring CDs, which is an easy <laughs> item to murder him with. Oh, my God. All right. What do we got here? Here. Do you know hey, this? Great cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got yourself a fine-looking bootleg. Yeah, it is a bootleg. You know it? I don't know it, but I know it's a bootleg. I remember that. I don't it's think it's I a limited that. pressing. I don't know. I, it, it's, it's a uh, great market. It's a great yeah. market. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of interesting. Of course, Pete Best on it, so. He won't be welcome here, Nicole. We're a, we're a bunch of commies. No, no. All right. You're in a spare bedroom in a trailer park in my own momo. No, no, I mean, uh, Okay. And uh, the bills are ever sold for 65. Okay. But hold on. This is where we go to Norman Maslop. Uh, Rachel, what's the question we ask whenever somebody says something like this, Maslop? Uh, we say American or UK, and we know what the Beatles intention was, but this is the, one of the few times that I would say that the American is the better listen for that album. It's a, it's subjective, but I get it. You know? So there we go. <laughs> Massey, thank you so much for that. Nathaniel Massey's absolutely correct when he says that rubber soul was different for the American audience than what the UK audience got in Canada. We got what the Americans got. So us in the U S a kind of uh, we're doing our own thing over here with the albums and everything. Uh, the UK having a different run. Uh, but now, <laughs> okay. the rejoinder. Is true? Is here, here yeah, at yeah. In New York. yeah. I did. You know, okay. Have you ever heard, John, the term inspired by, inspired by desert island discs? I get it. And you know, in Americans, we have to have those big fat ass cars and not the cool little European versions of the of cars like you have in the UK. I get it. I get it. Yes. Uh, you, no, you again, know? the president is just too America first for Canada. Is this me? Is, are you so upset that we're not going to meet in August, John? God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Have, you, have you gotten your Trump shoes already? 
I'm trying to get them, but I think with my stock on the rise, things are going to go great, and I'll be able to afford a pair of those babies. Mm -hmm. uh, I prefer the UK, UK version of Rubber Soul. It had more songs on it, such as And Your Bird Can Sing and Dr. Robert. Dr. Robert, which were not on the U.S. No, version. but we, hold, we had those on yesterday and today. Yesterday and today. Day but tripper, after, we can like, work it out. And yeah, yeah. Well, Nathaniel's legitimate in his opinion. Many people it. do prefer I understand. the UK I understand. version. So, you know, I'm always uh, so... Yeah. Um, Take your time. Uh, enamored by how the conversation always turns to Beatles talk. Well, you know why? <laughs> We've got Massey and I were discussing earlier. I picked these up yesterday. I mean, Dr. Robert, no, look, like Dr. Robert showed a, well, he did show it, the Beatles. He showed it, he, he showed a 90 record. Give the man credit. He fucked up. But, he, he showed that Pixies, but then he showed that Beatles. Okay. Well, even Led Zeppelin's getting in on the Beatles craze with their oh, yellow uh, Zeppelin album. Sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is sacred. It's a sacred. I mean, they're, they're they're ripping off blues rhythm, and, yeah. and now they're ripping off the Beatles. Unbelievable. Well, I, okay. I will say that I will say that I, like I'm not a huge Led Zeppelin fan, but at least they they stole it. And did they it haven't met it. an artist they could they wouldn't steal. Oh, from. I've got that <laughs> album. Vance, <laughs> I hope that, you're not watching. That's yeah. actually a pretty good album. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Well, I like that. Yeah, Doc. I have like that. That's one there. So, yeah, I've got a did copy. You, of that. Did, you ever, did you ever read that book, uh, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance? I, yes. you know, I know of it. I never read it. Yeah. I never read it. You guys read it, Mazzy? You read it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, years yeah, I know, ago. I know years of ago. it. I mean, it's a legendary book. It, it is. It is. So, the, you know, the theme of the book, the the story. It's really kind of. I mean, it's a heartbreaking story because the true story is the guy went crazy and he's separated from his family and he's reacquainting himself with his son. That's the premise in the story and, and what happened in real life that did happen and then his son eventually gets uh, murdered as a young man in san francisco i think he gets stabbed somewhere um, but he loses his son in real life uh, but the the central point of the book is really uh that quality is impossible to define and we just have to leave quality you know what we like as something that uh, you can't really uh, put objective words to, um, which I think for, you know, a lot of the conversations we have here, that's, that really settles the argument. And hey, maybe, hey, yeah, it's, it's a very, I you were going to end here in about five minutes. So I didn't yeah, but no, we're happy to have, we're happy to have you. You got this, uh, zap bootleg? you got the yellow, uh, the yellow zap. Yeah. Got that one. It's a, it's a good one. I mean, it's, it's one I've been at for it. a while. <laughs> Whiskey Go Go 1969, Zepp Live. And this is the thing with Led Zeppelin. Their catalog is actually, you know, fairly short. What, nine albums, I think, in total? Um, oh, uh, here we go. I've uh, compare, compared this AGK. Compared Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies, just reissued Rhino Deluxe Package. He's compared the Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar uh, Babies from 2016 and the 50. They are two different masters. No question, the new one sounds better. Credits don't match. Different who, matrix. Who I had no sleep yesterday because I was thinking of that, AJK. Uh, who, now, ma no. who mastered the two? I have this 216. Two uh, I think um, it's uh, Chris <laughs> Bellman did the new one. Chris who Bellman. Did this? Well, then who, he probably, usually Chris Bellman or Kevin Gray did the other ones. I wonder who did I it. don't know who did the one. I'm not getting the new one because I don't need all that live stuff in the extras. Because Yeah. Hey, I, do have a, I do have a music-related question. Why has Ryan K. Smith dropped the K from K. Smith? Now that new late literature coming out just calls him Ryan Smith. Maybe. Does anyone know this? Well, you know, it's, it's one of those uh, letters in the alpha that are so ab abrasive. You know, so. Jose... That, that's, a, that, that's a William the Flipper level joke. Come on, man. Come on, folks. If you want to learn about this no, album, no, go no. to a true expert. No, he, don't he doesn't know the alphabet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> can we do a Facts. clear yeah, album of band series? Sons of Rob. I did can a video on the about Josie. Oh boy, you know. It, so, you so no one knows the mystery of Ryan Cates. We're talking Zeppelin, Yellow Zeppelin. Go here. It's Vance. It's Zepp Pearl. He knows this album like the back. I of watched that when he did that. Was a while ago. Uh, that was yeah. a good video. Yeah. Well, he's the yeah. guy. He's my Zep guru. All right. Yes. I got Thor. I think the Beatles should guru. sue them for stealing that cover. I think it's okay. There's too much suing. I'm dealing with 
Chris, over Chris, 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 what's the latest on the lawsuit? Please update me on the lawsuit. Okay. Which lawsuit? Speaking of which. Is that Chris Hill were being sued by out of West Virginia? They wrote without great. Is it because you is it because you use a DSD step in your show, Rachel? I, there, it's so complex. The legal finagling is just so complex. But uh, we're trying to get through it. 2016 was a straight oh. reissue. Lacquer only cut by Bellman. is remastered by Dan Hirsch. Lacquer cut by Chris Bellman. There you go. Uh, whiskey. Oh, and uh, Alice Cooper played the whiskey in 69 as well. Uh, Pink Floyd were on the bill the same night. Wow, what a concert. Way Rachel. different. Yes, <clears throat> Hey. Um, the only, the, only, the billion dollar baby one that uh, I got to, but I, the only thing I didn't like is the uh, schools oh. out. It didn't sound the same as the, the original, the, um, other, the, okay, we're going to bring out. Skyler up. We have to allow Skyler to come on. And hey. So Good morning. I'm just wondering, like, why would Good it? Good morning. Well, I'm okay, going to head out because yeah. I'm going to do eggs. Okay. Do you, you go, you go have fun. I'm going to finish with Johnny here and then we'll go to Skyler yeah. so we can promote him. Okay, go ahead, Johnny. I'm just wondering why it didn't sound like it didn't sound as like I the schools out that I know of. Really, it didn't sound. What? What? Sound whoa, 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 whoa. What? What are you talking about? Mm, I don't know. It sounded schools just, out on the new. Yeah, on you know the it new, schools out. Yeah, I got the album okay, in double the, format. The, the the schools out that came out back in I think what was it seventies or something. Yeah, it, it sounded better than the one that um, Alice Cooper's singing on this billion dollar baby one. It seems. Well, hold Is it on, because it's live, dollar, maybe whoa, or something. Johnny, Johnny, you're smoking pot. You're high on heroin. Let's get you back <laughs> up. No name cocaine. The thing Wrong is, album. yeah. Well, the th billion dollar babies is billion dollar babies. So there's three albums so in question. The big three are billion dollar babies, schools out, and killer. So billion dollar babies is not schools out. The school's out that he performs on the Billion Dollar Babies is a live performance. So one's a oh. studio cut, the other one's a live performance. That's okay, all okay. Is. Very good observation right, there, right, Johnny. Right. You saw that it was different. So, all right. Johnny, 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 John Heald, AGK, is pissed off. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Look, we're, we're joined by a new fella. This is uh, Skyler. Welcome to the show. Skyler, you're a uh, former live. Again. I want to yeah, thank man. you for your service. remember it. Let's talk to you. I'm going to make you big so people will focus on you a bit. There you and go. You got a, and you got a book going, right? Yeah, there you go, man. Uh, Semper Fi, Semper Fi. Thank you. So, so yeah, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, what's the book about? Tell me about this book. Well, it's not actually a book. It's a short story. Okay. It's, um, fantasy, romantic fantasy, I'm calling it. Little, yeah. Um, bits of uh, ideas thrown together about mm. the chance. And a developer who yeah. has a, a change of mind when he when he encounters this enchanted forest. So it's a great read for kids. You know, it's, it's it, you you read to your grandkids. There's only one word. He only says hell once. So it's, it's, it's about a developer. Much. It's about a not, developer. Not it's about a developer. You said. Yeah, it's about a, that's a, that's why the uh, the title Rachel's is Rachel's favorite person because he has to. Consider whether he wants to make condominiums for um, college kids, or tear down this forest full of enchanted um, plants and and uh, yes. different air and different um, other uh, flora. So it's uh, it speaks to uh, the importance of the environment versus uh, uh, a, a needful thing. Housing is important for people, but there's always a a, a challenge or a moral conflict between. The one and the other because you want to preserve the environment further the environment but at the same time we still need housing so there's conflict in that relationship is am i right about that skylar in, in, a, in a sense i'm not necessarily for the quote unquote environment i'm for privatization and that's what i think will be a great solution to the various issues we have with the environment if we privatize our lands our forests our different woodlands and different uh if, if it's possible you know our waterways um and that might be kind of tricky but you know for the most part for, for the different woodlands and, and, and forests they were privatized you could say you can't come across my land you can't trespass yeah you can't take my animals you can't take my 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 uh mm. my trees and my my flora and my fauna so um that's why that's that's the connection i'm making there 
Yeah. No, th listen, PB Thal, this is great to have him up. I, I'm totally fine. I'm a Scully here. I'm happy to promote him and like. And once we do this with his book and stuff, I'm sure Skylar likes music on some level. And so we can talk to Skylar about that as well. So the man is not just the short story that he's composed. Uh, you know, he has more going on than that, I'm sure. Uh, other things that are occupying his interest. Uh, Skylar, what are some of the hobbies? What are you into? Are you into video games? Are you into sports? So, uh, yeah, you know. Not not so much hobbies, just I say interests. Um, like, like, of course, this room is a room full of music heads. I love music. I love yeah. all kinds of music. I love classical, country, rock and roll, blues. A lot of blues because the blues is like the the, That's the, the bedrock. Rock. For, yeah, for all rock and roll, hip hop, soul, yeah. uh, gospel. I mean, so mm -hmm. and that came from the Negro <laughs> spirituals. So yep. um, that. That's uh, that's always a, a great round, and I just like to listen to it because it's not to make you feel better. It's just to make, it's just to get to understand in life. As I'm quoting from a, a August Wilson play, uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I'm sure you've oh, heard Ma of Ma Rainey. Rainey. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, mm -hmm. didn't they turn that into a movie? I believe they did. They made that into a movie. Excellent, excellent play, excellent movie. I can only speak the best of it. Uh, we got a question from Mr. Balding. Is anyone on the panel who is familiar and enjoys the Daptone record label? Or label? Daptone. Go ahead, doctor. Yeah, I like their stuff. I'm blanking. Um, so isn't Charles Bradley, I think, was Charles, on Charles, Sharon Jones. Yeah, Sharon Jones. Jones the Daptones. Daptones. Yeah, it yeah. might even be her label. I don't know who owns it, but it's a Neo Soul. Good stuff. Good stuff. Massey, Daptone, you got any Daptone in the collection? I have Charles Bradley. I have Daptones. I have the live. There's a double, triple live. Well, triple, triple disc live at the Apollo. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You know, I, I think it was um, John Six Inch who turned me on to it, or I got it around the same time and he did a video on it. I can't remember if I bought it independently or, or his suggestion, but it's great. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Seems like a nice guy re referencing you, Skylar. Uh, but Jeff, for his part, is against privatizing public lands and resources. How oh, do you counter that, Skyler? I'm I'm totally for privatization for the reasons I, I described. Because mm -mm. think about no. the endangered species. No. Think about all the di different from the snail to the whale to you know everything like that. You and privatize it, and then people like Trump are going to shit all over it. Now hold well, on, I Harry. You can't. You, you really can't have... Because if you have a private organization. You you really are protected by the law courts. No, you're but, protected by the person who owns it and does what they want to yeah, do, and we don't exactly. have any say in it. But yeah, yeah that, that's exactly. If you private, I, it, I agree it, with it, all things that are privatized. Everything should be privatized. If you private, if you, pri if you privatize it, I, I got a real life example, Rachel. You know, and I I talked and been out at the Columbia River Gorge, and yeah, um, I bet I'm I'm sure no, um, many may be aware, but probably most are not uh, that there was this. Uh, act passed during the Reagan uh, administration, and Reagan signed it, even though he was against it, uh, which established what's called the Columbia River Gorge Commission. Yeah. And they have authority on this entire region, which is now called a scenic area, uh, to approve or deny applications for any construction project. And they're very conservative about what they approve. And, you know, we've had some stuff we, we had to get approval for uh, back in the day. And it's a huge pain in the ass, huge pain in the neck. But the end result is you've got this entire region that's had very little development occur. So all of these beautiful hikes are preserved. Um, and these are, these are privately owned lands, but they're just regulated. And that's what I talked about a while ago. Unregulated free market capitalism is fails for the same reason communism does because it assumes human nature is benevolent and it ain't right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. In terms I totally of that. You know what happens when you assume. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, Skylar, go ahead. I, I was going to say that you know, I just saw a real quick clip that said that uh, selfishness is inherent. It's a, it's not inherent. Selfishness is a morality thing. And it's by choice. And, and and I say it's a great choice. You should be selfish rationally. You should be rationally self-interested. doesn't mean you're walking over corpses or you're destroying lands and tearing up people's property. That means that you're, you value your life so much that you encourage other people to be selfish as well. 
It's very difficult because I agree with uh, Dr. Hart that uh, generally people uh, default to our lowest uh, mean tendencies. And uh, yep. altruism is a very difficult thing to find in the human condition. There's been a lot of public uh, coastal wonderful access in California that's been closed down because private people buy it and rich people, and it cl gets closed down. You know, uh, anybody shouldn't be able to have the entire access to the beaches. Now, if you want to have a waterfront property, fine, away from the beach, fine, but not when they close down segments of the beach. I either have to go way around in some cases for miles and or it's not access to uh, the coastal. Uh, it's happened in Oregon, but more in California. It's fucked up. You know, what's really fucked up about that is actually the edge from U2 has yeah. tried to kind of overdevelop this area. I don't not near Malibu, but somewhere in California and build this like compound, this massive compound on the bitch to go way beyond just because he has money. You know, you might like U2 or not, but he's trying to circumvent uh, the Coastal Commission things in California. Now, someone made a comment about who do you trust, private or government? I would prod the government, with even with all the bureaucracy and that type of thing, because you never know which rich person or corporation you're going to get owning the land. And it can it's, change. It's, 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 there are, I mean, I think there are arguments for both sides of it, because government generally, like up here in Canada, we have so much government overreach. That you know, they do, the can the, the population is going just kick our asses, and and they'll happily do it. I mean, what if we didn't have the national park system from Roosevelt? You know, from uh, uh, hold back. on, Rachel. Yeah, go ahead, Rob. If you had a privately held island, yes, and you had to choose five records, yes, <laughs> on that island, <laughs> that be with please. me. You're resorting to your, 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 your boomer scalper persona, Rob. Hey, Skyler, I don't know how much you watched here, but yeah. we're a bunch of shit ass assholes that goof that. that, that we'll, we'll, we'll mock and make fun of each other ourselves. So if, if I don't know, we'll know, we'll see how long you last here because people don't last because they don't like, they don't like that we kid around a lot and we don't take ourselves so seriously. So well, Kimbo, that's hurtful, that's hurtful, that's hurtful right there. I think a serious that's topic, like a, a very serious topic you're, you're introducing here. It's going to start serious. We're going to make serious comments, which we do, but then it'll, it'll go off, off the kilter with the, with the comment commenters and everything else. So I think there's a little warning. I think you got to have it. Don't take it personally. I, I think the never government take needs it personally, that. Skyler. I I never. Think the government needs hey. to have access <laughs> The government parks that are open to all of us, because it can't just be the purview of the rich. So uh, that because so and so is rich and owns a lot, they have access quote to the beach and to that. I think uh, there's. I can't wait till they turn Mar a Lago, Mar Lago into a public park. You know, and bouncy castles and all the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They need to turn hey, Mar a Lago Maj. into public housing. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Maz. Yeah. Sky, like, Skyler is a, like a Sky, Tommy, Eric. Go ahead, Jack. That's Sky, right. Skyler is a Marine. Skyler is a Marine. I'm sure he can handle it. <laughs> he could beat my ass, definitely, on that. Damn right. <laughs> but he Skyler, wouldn't. I, I have a real important one for you. I can tell by his on mall walking. You know? Mall walking. Is it is it a real thing, or where do you stand on yeah. mall walking, it's, Skyler? Cruise in the mall. It's, it's the it's the hobby of uh, the older generation. The elderly, oh. yes. I, yes. I have a question yeah. for Skyler. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Tyler, would you be willing to be interviewed by chance? <laughs> is that is that is, how's is, that funny? I, I, I missed something. Uh oh. He'll interview a, a you know a post a post box. <laughs> you know, no offense to you, but he'll. Tyler, interview don't him. listen to these old guys. They don't know what they're talking gets, about. Yeah, they yeah, haven't they haven't taken gets, their Viagra this morning. Get yeah. <laughs> for yourself, Chance. UPS and FedEx guys <laughs> knock on his door. He says, "Do you want to come in for an interview, sir?" I, every wow. morning. Every morning. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Skyler, you are part of the goddamn show ever. Absolutely, we pride ourselves. Yeah, I appreciate on it. that. It's anyway, I feel welcome. Right? To be honest, I, I are really you are very welcome. very welcome, Skyler. You guys are, are, are aren't, aren't literary heads when you're. I mean, you probably are, but. Especially music heads. So that, that, that's something I can definitely. So yeah, Skyler, can I ask you a personal question? Who's, 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 who's being in there. the military, I, I I spent eight years in the Air Force, but being in the military, okay. what's your opinion of of uh, Mr. Trump? Oh, Mr. Boy. Trump is terrible. He's a horrible human mm. being. 
right. Yes. All right. You're in. All right. Well, he's got to go. Tyler Scott. Right Put him back in here. <laughs> we welcome you. In honor of you, I switched oh, to my orange right. hat. You found we welcome you. Guy, we, you we, are we, welcome we, here. If you we, should be here every day. That's not to say that sleepy, creepy, slow Joe Biden from my state. His his house is like literally 25 minutes away from mine. Um. <laughs> We don't real. I mean, they Please they claim him. He was born in uh, Scranton, though. So here's he the thing, Skyler. Yeah. Skyler, you but, took um, an oath to uphold the Constitution, and uh, and you made the right decision when you said that you don't trust. As him. did the New York <laughs> Appellate Court. God bless each and every one of them. The Appellate Court. And congratulations, the wait, wait, hold on, Rachel. Nasdaq stock going up, up, up. It's an yeah, incredible Yeah, you said before IPO. the end of the stream, before the end of the stream, you would have bought shares in True Social, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't. They're they're so high right now. It's so impossible for in my tax bracket to buy in. Go ahead, Doctor Robert. Is, is Scruzzy there with you, Rachel? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, good. So I so in an effort to change the topic. Uh, Scusi, you ready for a medical story? Yeah, I'd like a medical. <laughs> no, a medical, medical minute, minute. <laughs> Robert. Okay. Medical okay. minute. Okay, I, I have this. Uh, I have this true story that's been kicking around in my head uh, lately, and it was, you know, I used to go to the Shriners Hospital here in uh, Portland for about five years. I went just part time and did a few cases, and those were all cases on uh, young children. You know, children. Uh, everybody's under twenty one. Once you hit twenty one, they. Uh, you have to leave that system as a patient. So back in the day, I had a patient and she had this condition that's called uh, phocomyelia. Phocomyelia. And what that is, you can look it up. They 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 don't develop limbs. They don't have arms or legs. Oh, okay. so they have, she's a torso and a head and brain and then dysfunctional little flap hands and flap feet. Are you and, talking about the six beetle, Dr. <laughs> No, 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 no. Now, this is serious shit. I mean, it, this Sorry. is one of those conditions that, for me, I, I call them, you know, these are the there but for the grace of God uh, conditions. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, how this woman lives her life. And uh, and as a child, she also had uh, her family abandon her in some way. So this, this child without parents, my partner had operated on her uh, upper spine, thoracic spine, and her low back collapsed so she couldn't sit up straight. And so I inherited her from my partner and I took, did a fusion, extended it down into her pelvis and everything went well and she was great. And, you know, she got around by a wheelchair with sort of a sip suck mechanism because um, she couldn't do anything with her arms or legs. So fast forward, I, I stopped going to the shrine at a certain point. Uh, she fell out of my practice. And then years later, after she was older than 21, she comes back into my practice in my adult practice over at the university and she shows up with her boyfriend who is uh, an iraqi war vet and told me he's struggling with ptsd so the two of them and he just totally doted on her and he would little you know sort of flip her little hands uh around while we were interviewing her at any rate she was having pain now in her neck and above the construct and that's a real thing that when you do these fusions they wear out above them it happens all the time mm -hmm. so i'm talking to her all and, the time. and we're that trying to happen plan. numerous times yeah you've heard that and so i finally you know i, I finally said okay well, well we can extend the fusion up into your neck so and i talked about what that would be and i don't think she fully understood completely so um i, I went ahead <clears throat> and uh, and extended the fusion all the way up to the top of her neck. Everything again went fine. But what it turned out was the case that I didn't appreciate was she basically used her neck. That was the only thing she had to reach and grasp things. And her boyfriend would lay her on her side and put food out in front of her on a plate. And she would reach out with her neck, and head and neck and eat it off the plate. And she could no longer do that right after I fused her neck. So she came back, she was extremely upset. And her boyfriend was extremely upset. And he was screaming at me over the phone one time. And I'm like, you know, look, I, I'm happy to take care of you guys, but you got to slow down. And they did. Uh, eventually, I took her back. And she's the only patient I ever took back and tried to take down a fusion and make it move again. And it didn't really work. Um, but uh, I did try that for her and it never really worked out. But she came back a final time and she was accepting of where she was and was 
happy, you know, said she was happy. And so was he. And so we kind of resolved things, but it was one of those times where I just didn't think it through and, and wish I'd made a different decision for this woman. And I have no idea where she's at. Now. There's your moment, Squoozy. That, that uh, reminds me of the couple that, that, that had a child and, and the doctor came in and, they, and said, well, I have some bad news. And they said, what? And they said, well, no arms and no legs. And they, oh my God, what could be worse than that? Well, he has no, there's no body. Oh, what could be worse than that? Well, it's it's just a giant eyeball. Oh my God, what's worse than that? Well, it's blind. <laughs> Wait, I, I do that. have a serious <laughs> question for Dr. Rob. Yeah. <laughs> it always leads to a hairy <laughs> joke. <laughs> what what the hell did I, just I happen have a serious there? question for Dr. <laughs> Robert as he drinks his beer in the morning. Um, <laughs> it's orange juice. My God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Robert, you went to the Shriners Hospital to do work. I had always heard that Shriners had bad spines for driving around those tiny little cars. <laughs> you know, um, the Shriners are an interesting organization. I don't really know a single Shriner myself. I think my uncle was back in the day. But the Shriners Hospital, I will, I will give a shout out. One of the best places I ever worked. What a, a great mission and a well-accomplished mission. Uh, and great people worked there. And uh, so... Uh, Someday I got one other story I'll tell later. Not today. It's not for yeah. today. Just, when I hear the Shriners, I think of that Dead Kennedys album cover. L listen, Louis, I'll deal with you later. I, li I like Frank Shriner Price, Bach. I'll, I'll drink a Shriner Bach now and then. That was intense. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it's just horrible. Holy smokes! Yeah. Is it, if I went on a buzzkill, I'm sorry. I apologize. You, totally you did good, Doctor. Like, well, last week it was your Instagram showing the the. The critter with his head cut off, and, and I then swear, chewing something in the next. Doctor Robert, don't play. I swear, I thought those were pictures that Ruth Ann had sent him. <laughs> Holy God. Uh, and folks, and you, uh, you text me and wonder, want, want to know if I'm okay. Of course, I'm not okay now. Hey, <laughs> you're uh, so fun. I, I want to hear that story from Dr. Robert when he hit an old gypsy woman with his car. I'm hoping that didn't happen. All right. Well, listen, I want to thank everybody. Harry, go ahead. Let, let me tell you one quick story. Yeah, one quick I'm at story. Costco in Bonnie Lake, yeah. and this guy pulls up and he says, Hey, excuse me. I'm walking through the parking lot. I says, Yeah. He goes, I'm not from around here. I'm lost, and I lost my wallet. Um, but I got these gold rings I could sell because I need to get some gas. And no thing. It was the gypsies. There's a whole scam of them going around doing this. Okay. So just be aware. Be yeah, aware. So is there, is there like the gypsies who try and did sell it, some did Trump, Did it have the Trump logo on the ring? <laughs> no, but I did try to capture their tears in a little bottle I had. But. Hey. They got away too quick. I think Chance experienced this. There's a guy on the internet who grabs records from Walmart and tries to sell them to you. Hey, Harry, I'm not going to waste a quarter of a phone call. I can't go along. Uh, okay. Here, but thanks anyway. Well, you know, I was going to yeah. take you to the mall. That yeah. was a great medical minute. I love that. Beware, VC yeah. My, my day gentlemen. is great. Is going to be great. Now, why now are you having fun, Rob? Everything going good? There is a live stream later. Rob is going to be going live about four o'clock. Jazz centric, all about the Chatty Cakes new line of records. Are they as good as they say? Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. You're going to find out with Rob and his galaxy of jazz superstars. Yeah, right. I want to thank Chance Concert Bar. He's the sweetest guy. Don't don't parody this young man and don't dox him. Dr. Robert Spinal. Me better tits, Mark. Tyler Saunders. <laughs> Former Marine author, he's a writer. He's got a book out right now, short story. You can go to it. The link is in the description here. You are in the, the chat. You'll see it. Harry, thank you for being here. Massey, I love you. Johnny, legend. Jose Marino, Ran. Gracias, muchos gracias. And of course, Wack. Yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll, back. I'm going to ask Chance. Tomorrow. What? When is the uh, the Vinyl Community Podcast uh, stock going public? Yes, the IPO. Well, well, well we, we've had to do some retooling because okay. we've been on a constant siege uh, by this guy in Omaha. So once we get that all sorted out and once we uh, start buying wigs to wear, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Folks, also, as a reminder, always get that thumbs up on the program. It does help. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps the channel out. Ooh, thank number you. Skyler, thanks for your service. Thank yes, you very much, John. Yes, I appreciate your support.
Thank all right. All. Thanks, Tyler. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. Six o'clock. We'll Take do care. it all over again. Boom. <laughs>